What's up, guys? And I gotta fix that. <laughs> What's up, guys? How's it going? Need to turn that down a little bit. No worries, Hood Rat. Welcome, Chris. Welcome, Hood Rat. Welcome, Mamad. And my green screen's all messed up, too. <laughs> Let me fix that really quick. Welcome, welcome everybody. Uh, today we're gonna play a game called Dredge. It's kind of, it's a, it's a fun fishing game with a psychological horror Cthulhu twist to it. Not gonna lie, I played a little bit yesterday because Ken and Mamad were napping, and I wanted to check it out. It's, it's pretty cool. It's fun. So we're gonna play that and have some fun with it. And I got some spooky, well, hopefully spooky horror ocean music. I don't know. We'll see how it sounds like. Yeah, I hope everybody's doing well. Hope you're having a good weekend. Um, let's make sure everything's running right. Uh, everybody can see me on all platforms. If you're here, Nip, make sure you hit that like button. And yeah, let's have some fun with this game. I'm going to switch right over to it. Let's see. Bloop. Oh, I got to switch that, don't I? There we go. Um, but yeah, this is Dredge. Seems like a harmless game. Until you start playing it and it gets dark. Yeah, as you can see, I, I made it to day 16. I don't know, I was just going through real quick, though, and checking everything out. So this is Dredge. Let's get into this. Yeah. The job listing. Angler wanted. So we're just a lowly fisherman going to find work. And we crash our ship. How we crashed literally right in front of the lighthouse who knows but we did we're, we're not that good at fishing i guess dredging the depths so here we are 
The morning light fills your eyes and you try and sit upright. You're lying on the cold, wet dock where you collapsed the night before. A short man is shouting orders at a handful of workers disembarking from a boat nearby. The man notices you. Welcome to Greater Morrow. I must say, quite the dramatic first impression. I see you've already introduced yourself to the jagged rocks along the bay. Thanks, buddy. Did you not see the lighthouse? It was shining right at you. Ah, well. I'm glad to see our new fisherman upright and breathing. Your boat was hopelessly damaged, but we've had a few of the locals move your things from one of our old vessels. We'll catch up later to discuss the details, or more details. I'll let you get out there and catch some fish. See if you can fill your cargo while you get your bearings in the light. Finally, I don't suppose I need to say this, but get back before sundown before the fog rolls in. Keep a close eye on the time and it can really creep up on you. Yeah. So here we are. So basically, the way this works is time is frozen unless we move or fish or dredge. So you see how we move there and the time up the very top it clicks on. And then we can rotate the camera. There we go. And then we go fishing. And it's basically just a, a little mini game. Yeah, it's a pretty cool little style. It, I like the style. And then it's, it's kind of like a... What's it called? Where you have to fit everything in like a Tetris... You gotta be careful what you get before you. Oh! Before you head back and sell the fish or whatever else you find. Oh, and there we go. The gold ones are good, because that gives us, like, uh, extra money. Yeah, there we go. Ooh. Oh, Dark Daz, how are you? I'm good. Yep, drunk sailing. Oh, uh, is it? Yeah, the Twitch doesn't have a uh, dredge on it yet. I'm going to have to see if I can fix that if I get a chance. Let's see. You step onto the dock at Greater Morrow. The mayor is waiting nearby. Ah, I see you returned in one piece. Very good. Before you head off to town, we should discuss the matter of your boat. As I mentioned earlier, your old boat is too badly damaged to be repaired. However, I'm more than happy to sell you that replacement vessel, yours to own. I understand you may not have the necessary funds on hand, so we'll consider it a loan. But I want to make this easy for you. Until your debt is repaid, a tiny portion of your fish sales will go towards paying it off. A small amount of interest will go towards improving the town. So to recap, you'll need to sell fish to the local market, paying off your debt, and in turn, keep the population fed and satisfied. Understand? Uh, sure, got it. Off you go then, sell those fish while we're still fresh. Yep, and then we go to the fishmonger. Uh, you enter a squalid shack on the fringe of the marketplace. The familiar smell of fish fills the air. Flies buzz haphazardly around the, a downcast man behind the counter. You're the new fisherman, eh? Surprised they found a new one so fast. What happened to the other one? He, it takes a certain type of person to last out here. It's not a life for everyone. It's a life for me, though. Anyway, to business. I'll pay for your fish. Bigger and fresher means more money. Some species are just worth more, too. Other towns on the island might pay you differently. Or different. But while you're still in the debt... Or you still got debt outstanding here, I suggest you work on paying it off first. Yes, pirate's life for me. <laughs> Yeah, technically, no, it's not my first time. I played a little bit yesterday. Only a little bit, though. Well, let's see what you got. So I got some fish. I'm just going to sell them all. The mayor is standing outside the fishmonger store. Excellent work. I have no doubt you'll be able to provide for this town. Look here. I found this down by the dock. I'm sure someone like you could make something out of it. Why don't you take it? So this is a research part. These we can actually use to make our boat better oh one last thing our local shipwright mentioned she might be able to make some modifications for your ship you should pay her a visit 
Yep, and then we got the shipwright here. As you walk into the yard, you see the shipwright making repairs to a damaged hole. She looks up at you briefly before turning your back ah. to her work. You must be the new fisherman. I can I can make improvements to your vessel in the yard. Mind you, I'm not in the business of doing favors around here. Payment is up front, and everything takes some time to install. Also, if you take any damage from the rocks or any damage at all, I can patch it up, mostly. She shrugs and gestures toward the hole. She's currently attempting to repair. A number of wooden boards, as well as above the waterline, are splintered and scratched. <sighs> Take a look around. Just remember, the bigger the equipment, the longer it takes to install, so plan ahead. Yep. So here we can get different fishing poles. We have shallow. Looks like these are both shallow. And then we have a coastal, and then there's a deep water one. And then you can get extra engines that get more speed. Uh, eventually, we'll be able to get nets. The trawl nets kind of catch fish while you're driving, so you don't have to stop. And then lights. Lights are super important important in this game at nighttime because yeah it gets crazy um let's see let's do this one oh i don't have enough money we don't have enough money for any of these okay well i have a chance here let me check the let me check twitch real quick see if i can switch that to blah 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 Reg. There it is. Okay, so Twitch should be updated, hopefully. I just realized, too, our music isn't playing. What the heck, music? Oh, because it's turned way down. <laughs> there we go. Where's the fishing gear? I, I have my... Mother F and nature shirt on, I guess. <laughs> no, Mama had me doing manual labor. <laughs> okay, let's go. We gotta go catch some more fish. But here, also, you have a, a tab, and you can do certain things. We got like encyclopedia. Um, we can pick up messages and bottles. This is kind of like our pursuits, our uh, objectives, maps. Actually, I'm going to pause that really quick. And then also you can get, like, uh, books, basically, that you read while you're driving that help, like, help you fish better or whatever else. But for now, we need to go catch fish. Uh, to no worries. Yeah, see, uh, time advances only while you're moving or fishing, basically. But in good old-fashioned, I'm going to play this like a freaking crazy person, and we're going to stay out all night. No. Oh, man. I, I Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> yep, like the old DayZ in Tarkov. Get yeah, depth charges for fish, but yeah, they'd probably be a g good thing in this game, too. I know eventually you get dynamite to blow, like, there's like places that are blocked off, and you get dynamite to blow them up. I wonder if you can use those to fish. That, that would be very helpful, too. You'll see why in a little bit. Like, <clears throat> There's some big fish, and there's some scary things in these waters that depth charges would be very, very helpful against. Yeah, because you like you see this game, and you think, oh, yeah, this is just a cute little fishing game. And then everything goes to hell. And Cthulhu comes out and ass rapes you. Uh, I mean, you know... <laughs> Yep, and here it's nighttime. And as you can see, there's an eyeball up there. The redder that eye gets, basically the more insane I am going. And the more insane I go, the more uh, the big the big creatures, the big uh, monster, whatever they are, come out. And yeah. Get to 
Can you hear the uh, bubbles? The boobles? Don't watch and drive. Yeah. <laughs> the only way ain't gonna do shit if you stay strapped. Yeah. <laughs> Just get a gunboat. I don't know, man. Like, have you ever played the uh, Call of Cthulhu like role-playing game? Guns usually don't work against. <laughs> Here we go, sell these fish. Made 126 bucks. Oh, and I have a, a research point I need to use. Let's use it on the uh, this hydraulic rod here. That'll give us... So now we basically unlocked that fishing rod. So we can go over to the ship right here and actually get that, that rod. But it's $410, so it's going to take us a minute. For now, though, we're going to buy this one. There we go. And do I have enough money? No, I don't. I was going to say buy another engine, but... That's okay. Um, we got something on tab here. Encyclopedia. We got, yeah, some squids. The regular fish are kind of, yeah, regular fish. But you'll see in a little bit, we're going to get some crazy mutant fish. Um, and then... To reset your eyeball, your craziness, you can either sleep or get into the, the sunlight. Yeah, here we go. We should be able to fish for sharks here in a little bit. I I gotta get that other that pole for four hundred dollars. <laughs> it shouldn't be too long though. Well met. Basically, what we're gonna do right here, we're just gonna try and catch as much as we can. Oh, if I could fish. There we go. Run these back. Yeah, thank you, Chris. Thank you, everybody else. Don't forget to hit that like button. I know it's not our usual, but this game looked interesting, and I've had it on my wish list for a while. And it just came out uh, on Thursday, I think. I have a special order well come met. through from a customer. If you can fulfill it, I'll pay you above normal price. Hmm. Tell me about the order. They asked for one golf flounder and one gray eel. Just bring them in when you have them. You'll need to have a rod that can handle shallow water fish in order to catch those. The shipwright should know or be able to sort that out for you. Um, have you got that order? Maybe. Yep, I got one. Now we just need a gray eel. <laughs> Perfect. <clears throat> oh, thank you, Chris. That's very nice of you. Huh. So did it just show up? Oh, okay. Yeah, for some it's the Facebook ones. For some reason the Facebook ones don't make any noise anymore. I'm gonna have to go look and see what that is when I get a chance. Jimmy Chong is an Oreos. Welcome, Raindrop. That sounds extremely good right now. I could actually go for some chimichangas. <laughs> Do you deliver raindrop? <laughs> Catch some fish. Awesome. Well, yeah, deliver some chimichangas over here and. <laughs> oh, these are the big, big rays. I remember these guys. Okay. We should only be able to catch one of these, which sucks, but... No worries. <laughs> yeah, Mama got us some Jimmy Johns. Jimmy Johns, it's freaky fast! You know what else is freaky fast? This game.
And like classic Ned Echo fashion, we're not gonna take the warning. We're gonna stay out when it's dark and without a flashlight, or nonetheless. That's just not a good idea, but. We better get back before, yeah. I just realized we don't have an actual light. Well, we do, but it's kind of a tiny one. And basically at night, rocks just appear out of nowhere. <laughs> Here! I wish there was Harold in this. There could be. I don't know yet. Oh, did you hear that? That beep? Yep, yeah, you'll see what that is soon. That's not a boot. Sell all those. That gives us 200 bucks. Uh, the mayor is walking quickly, to quickly towards you. He seems to be in a good mood with spring to his step. Fantastic news! Thanks partly to your efforts, Greater Morrow is growing. Our town is sure to be swarming with visitors any day now. Hmm. In fact, I've granted the consent of Shipwright to expand her facilities. The old dry dock is operational again. I've also allocated some money to improve Fishmonger services. He might have some or uh, something to talk to you about soon. Keep up the good work. We're glad we've chosen you to help us here. Yeah, no worries, Hoodrat. Welcome back. Um, uh, yeah, I'm not seeing Chris's messages for some reason. Yeah, there might be a giant demon, Harold. <laughs> yeah, this is, it technically is a horror game. This is a psychological horror game. So, it'll get crazy here in a little bit. But here we've unlocked the dry dock. The dry dock... Um, uh, we're taking extra spots more, so it gives you more attachment points and, uh, like, just upgrades to the boat. Uh, we'll need a distant stock of hard materials for these projects, lumber, metal scraps, that sort of thing. Find materials, got it. Materials assigned towards the upgrades here will be stored, so don't worry about only half, if we have half, so... Yeah, basically, we find materials, throw them in here, and after we get them, uh, all filled up, then we can upgrade. And this will give us more slots so we can have more fishing pot roll or rods, more engines, yeah, everything. All the fun stuff. Oh, it's Chris is communicating telepathically? It censored his name? Oh no. Huh. Okay, there's Chris. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Dark Daz, pure instinct is all you need. Yes, true fishermen don't need lights. <laughs> do you need your old rod? Uh, I th for now we do. So basically, right now I have I have both rods. Um, because this one does shallows and this one does coastal. But as I, I progress, I'll get rods that can do, like, both shallow and coastal, so I don't have to have as many rods. It, it's, it's, a, it's a fun game. They, they have a nice system. Oh, we still need that eel. We found a stingray. Um, but, yeah, I think, yeah, we gotta get some sleep. So let's get some sleep here. And I like to wake up right before it... Yeah, like, well, a little earlier, but... <laughs> he said rod. <laughs> My rod is a f eight. A nine. Yeah. yeah, that's the problem, too. Is it, it's... You gotta fit everything in just right. <laughs> Uh, a hunched woman approaches you from the steps to the lighthouse. She stops some distance away and looks at you with concerned and visible apprehension. Oh. Why are you here? Well, that was a little... <laughs> I've come to fish! There's nothing for here for someone like you anymore. Do yourself a favor and move on. She turns and shuffles back along the path that leads to the light. And then the mayor wants to talk to us. 
That's the person I was hoping to see. Will you be sailing out east towards Little Mar Morrow? Uh, would you give this package to the dock worker there, please? Sure, we can do that. Um, he hands you a small, damp package bound in string. It's dripping slightly. <laughs> the dock worker will pay you upon delivery. Please be quick about it. I don't want it to spoil. Okay. Don't forget to check your compass and map if you get lost. Uh, always subtract one inch from my man's claims. <laughs> okay, then I'm a ten. Okay, beautiful. <laughs> I'm not beautiful. I'm manly man. Oh, God. Does he need some of that bluefin tuna for extreme profit or some alien underseen life? Yes. Just wait, Dark Daz. We're getting to those alien life forms here in just a minute. We'll run this over here. Because the more we go, the more we're going to get the weird mutant fish. I don't know. They're they're Cthulhu fish. <laughs> Your wand is 14 and a fourth inches. <laughs> that reminds me of Floppy Sword. <laughs> I'm glad about that. The tasty fish. Yes. Well met. That's new. I've not had that happen before. We got a thunderstorm rolling in. Let's go drop this package off. Drop this package off. Hmm, <laughs> what? A delivery? Let me see here. He tears, tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can say for, can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Yeah, nice and fresh. That'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop for a, uh, by for a chat anytime, and I know how long lonely it can be. But basically, yeah, that... This storm is new. We basically got this a book now. But we can click this and then see he'll read it as we're traveling along. And it'll give us more sustainable fishing. <laughs> Me, the unperson, is just as funny. Oh. <laughs> I swear if he catches a turtle. <laughs> I'm catching a turtle, damn it. Oh, Dark Daz, yeah. Yeah, the last two streams I played Project Zomboid, they, the mods can get crazy, man. You find a bunch. Uh, but here we got a new trader. Uh, you enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques and shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you to, over a silver spectacle. Ah. Hello, is that? No, ah, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you have. Uh, have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? Well, I got this uh, package. Here. Um, no, I mean, no, I don't. <laughs> All right, but he'll buy, like, rings and jewelry and just, yeah, shiny stuff. <sighs> I'd rather have a boss battle with a giant turtle. <laughs> Harold! Who's fishing who, though? I know. Basically, Cthulhu's fishing me. Alright, let's get out of here, though. In this storm, we need to catch more fish. We need the money! Yeah, this game's pretty good. It's it's like 20 bucks or $25, so it's not too bad. And from what I heard, it, it's got a lot of playthrough. Like, it's got a lot to the story, so it, it's not a quick game. You'll get your money's worth, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. The storm is crazy. Uh, boop. There we go. <laughs> Let's see if I can maybe fit a small fish. Yeah, we could fit some of these. Nope. 
There we go. Catch all the fish. All right, that's all we can catch. <laughs> Everybody's telling me I need to catch a turtle. <laughs> oh, the ghost hunt hunting's getting on pretty good, Chris. I got some new equipment and some more fun stuff soon. Yeah, everybody put a turtle in the chat for Harold. We can just say he's on the boat. Uh, let's go to the fishmonger. Not right now. I gotta catch an eel. Hmm. There we go. Um, do we have anything? Oh, he gave us another book. That's awesome. Now, I think we need to just get out and catch... We need to find an eel. I actually looked into uh, getting my own stuffed animals made. It might happen. I don't know yet. <laughs> there's, there's websites, though, you can make your own stuffed animal. It's just, if you do, like, one or two, it's, like, a hundred bucks. But if you do, like, a big order, like, more than 50, they give you a really big discount. But, yeah. People want to buy turtle stuff, turtle head stuffies, Harold stuffies. I'll I'll see about getting some made. I kind of want one. <laughs> oh, here we go. I need an eel though, please. I should probably go buy a new light, honestly, before I yeah. Oh, God. Yeah, at, at nighttime, it gets pretty... All right, so that's the light to mark rocks. Oh, God, someone changed their name to Harold. <laughs> Spamming the turtles almost crashed YouTube? Oh, jeez. <laughs> hey, Harold's in our chat. Uh, we got a, we got four hundred bucks. Let's get a new, a new light. We need a light. I'm gonna get the biggest one she's got. There we go. And we might buy another engine. There we go. Okay. All hail Harold. <laughs> That's hilarious. Um, we need fish. We need fish. Yeah, we need to find an eel. So we need to find shallow water fish. Harold's head. It will leave you happy. Hey, there's the eel. <laughs> I'm bad at the simple games. All right, we might go over here to grab some of these since we're out here. Surprised I haven't found any mutant fish yet. How many can we fit? Maybe one? Yep, that's it. Okay. When you blow up Harold, is it going to be a staple of the channel? Yeah. And when I blow up, Harold's going to be a staple? Yeah. Hey, that's... Yeah. yeah, everybody... Everybody will know. He'll be a household name. Harold, Harold's head. 
<laughs> well, here we go. We got this order here. Slimy eel, thank you. Good, good. They should be pleased with these. I've got another order here. This one's a little more curious. They want a couple of squid and a whole black grouper. Uh, they only feed at night, so we got to catch them at night. Sell the rest there. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. All right, but well, let's get out. We got a better light now, so we can stay out a little little darker, or when it's darker, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wait, what? Let us all take a deep <laughs> local breath through our butts and praise our turtle lord. <laughs> local. They do, they don't, yeah, they have, yeah. <laughs> what is a clut? Oh my god, you guys are funny. <laughs> oh, I'm hitting the wrong button. Hitting the wrong button. This fishing game is too hard for me. <laughs> We're all adults. Yes. We're all adults. According to some, I'm an ancient adult. Uh, boop. Little fish. Oh, that was it? Wow. Oh, it's because it's getting dark. Perfect. <laughs> okay, let's see what trouble we can get into. We need to find some night fish. There's some, there's some. some squids. I think we need two of these at least. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. Then we need a grouper, but the grouper I think is shallow. You're allowed to have steak knives now? Uh-oh. <laughs> yeah, the hair. <laughs> uh, yes, I have something for the order. We have some squiddy squids. We gotta come back. We have the rest. Someone's getting ice cream for dirt dessert. Oh god. <laughs> Dairy free because it it'll make <laughs> I'm going out at night. I'm going out at night. I'm doing it. We need a shallow fish. Yep, see how the rock just appeared out of nowhere? Yeah. Oh god. We got our big fish here. Oh no, 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 no. If I could catch- Oh, there's our first- our first mutant fish. A tusk grouper. Pig-like tusks protrude from the mouth of this ravenous brute. With no eyes to speak of, it attacks indiscriminately. There's our first Cthulhu fish. Yeah, there's there's some weird ones, so... Get, re get ready. <laughs> Ask the fishmonger for beard tips. <laughs> Does he have a good beard? I didn't even look. Oh, thank you. Uh oh. Oh. Uh, can we fit one of these? I think we can. Let's try it. We're going crazy anyway. Yeah, just one. 
Oh yeah, we are crazy crazy. Something slithered into my cargo hold. Uh-oh. Not good. Oh no, it's making our grouper gross. <laughs> Wait, isn't a botanist the study of the planets? So why would a botanist know anything about goat milk is <laughs> there? <laughs> I'm a turtle. I only know swimming, mating for life, and breathing through my poop chute. Oh, God. <laughs> well, let's see if the fishmonger takes this. Hopefully. He does. Okay. The fishmonger does have a pretty nice beard, but he's got no hair on his head, so he's got to make up for it. Uh, I've been meaning to talk to you about a new business venture I've been considering. Crab pots. I've got one here for you. In fact, it's a bit banged up, but you could get it fixed with the at the shipwright. You know, it's perfect. Got a crab pot. So basically, we can we can collect crabs now. Just throw these out like a crab pot. Well, yeah. <laughs> Jimmy John's is good stuff. I haven't had it in a while. Uh, I got a customer after the fiddle crab and a common crab. Both species can be found around here. What is it today? You hand the grotesque fish to the fishmonger. He grins, raising the fish up to his face before inhaling a deep, stuttering breath. <sighs> ah. Now this is the sort of specimen to liven up my day. Hmm, I wonder. He runs his fingers firmly along the length of the fish as though feeling for something. He pushes from one side of its stomach, and a small shape can be seen against the bulging scales. He slices the fish open. From its stomach, he pulls a small piece of fabric and spreads it on the counter. It's a delicately patterned handkerchief. Well, I've never seen that before in my days. I'll give you this thing, and I'll pay you for the fish too, of course. It's not the first corrupted fish I've seen in these parts, so I'm sure you'll find more before too long. I'll pay you if you find any more. There we go. We got the handkerchief. Oh, God. Eh, camera! Stop it! So yeah, we got our first, this is our first, um, relic. So we have to find relics. To, I don't know what they do or what happens when we find them all. Um, so we have our first relic, though. And we're going to go see the guy that collects the relics. Here in just a minute. This is the guy. <laughs> a man is looking at you through the cabin window. His face is mostly in shadow. I know what you took to the fishmonger. And I, I'll be clear, I know he extracted an artifact from it. I need to inspect it, but not here. <sighs> Meet me on Blackstone Isle. Head out of the bay and cut south. I have a business proposition that you'll want to hear. I'll be waiting. Alright, so that's the guy we need to go see here in a minute. I'm going to catch up with chat real quick. <laughs> being, a turtle day all, or being a turtle all day, the barnacles are crazy. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he did. Oh, as I punch my mic. Harold is he's getting stuff all over. Look he's an he's a, a predator now. <laughs> my only fans failed. I my only fans is just getting started. You can find it on my Facebook. Or in the Discord. Oh, wait. We need to... S Should we sleep? Nah, we don't need to sleep. We need to throw this crab pot out. Yes. We're crazy, but that doesn't matter. Right? We don't need to be... Not crazy. That makes things more interesting. Yeah, I didn't know Mama had a OnlyFans. I would have paid a ton for that. Okay, here we are at Blackstone Isle. At the ruined mansion. The man is standing in the doorway watching you approach. 
He's holding an old book in one hand. It's bound in crimson and with silver ribbons. <sighs> you came. Good. Allow me to introduce myself. I am a collector of many things, art and artifacts, treasures and truths, and curios that occupy the periphery of desire. Look, it's me! <laughs> and you have something for me. You give the handkerchief to the collector. He holds it up to the flickering light and studies it. <sighs> These patterns are unmistakable. Even after all this time, this handkerchief comes from an old ship I've been searching for. It sank many years ago. It carried items of great importance. As you can imagine, retrieving them is proving to be challenging. That's where you come in. My proposition is this. I will outfit your vessel and it, with the equipment that will let you dredge the wrecks and dark depths. Yes. <laughs> Find me these lost relics and I will reward you in ways beyond your ima all imagining. You need not give up your fishing career. I'll merely need a few hours or, uh, with your vessel to make the necessary altercations. What do you say? <laughs> Hell yeah! An excellent decision. I'll prepare the equipment immediately. So now we're not just fishermen. We are treasure hunters. The relics we are looking for are a ring, a necklace, a watch, a music box, and a key. I would encourage you to ask around town about the shipwrecks or other strange occurrences. Anything that might be worth investigating. Return when you have something. So there we go. Now we are treasure hunters. We can dredge, as the game title implies. <laughs> Alright, and then I also, we have the workshop. Uh, it hasn't been used in decades. Go inside. I bought the extra key. There's a, this is a DLC. Um, so I unlocked it with that. I don't know exactly what they do. We get an artillery, arterial engine. And a sign of ruin. A uh, symbol of the, of the deep that is carved into the small talisman. It is sure to draw the attention of those. Yeah, I don't know exactly what it does. So, in my fashion, if I don't know what it does, we install it and see what it does. <laughs> if it summons Cthulhu himself, so be it. <laughs> Herod the Holy... The play... What? <laughs> the sandwich is weird? Salami, pesto, roasted tomatoes, mozzarella, onions, mayo, and balsamic glaze? <laughs> My sandwich isn't weird, I hope. Alright, well, let's get out of here. We need to go... Where do we need to go? We need to go catch fish and dredge some stuff up. Alright, so that one's completed. So now we have a 10% chance uh, to not reduce fish stocks when catching fish with a rod. And now we're going to read rods, reels, and rigs. We need to find relics. And we got to get the crabs. Husk grouper. <laughs> oh, some lettuce. Fish! Oh, it's a three-headed cod. Uh, three heads writhe and struggle in unison. Uh, the three mouths hang agape. They close shut together. All three li or, uh, three lives lived as one. One fate bound in to many. But a uh, three-headed cod piece. I mean, codfish. Um, and all the heads do the exact same thing. Three-headed cod. <laughs> My cod has three heads. Kind of, I don't know why, it just played in my head. My milkshake brings all the boys to the yard, but change it, my three-headed cod. No, never mind, I'm gonna end that right there. And that's all of them. <laughs> my three-headed cod. Ooh, here's a special one. We don't have the right rod. We need a bigger rod. We can get a special shark. A special infected shark with our giant rod. 
I'll go back to Suns here in a little while. I wanted to try this out and yeah. We'll give we'll give Sons of the Forest another go once things get updated again. Oh, and then also that red thing over there, that's an artifact. I know this because I went there, but if you see any more red lights in the sky, let me know, because that I think means they're artifacts. Let's go sell our fish. Bam! 700 bucks. You should probably buy that new fishing rod. So here's where we have to make a choice. See, we can only fit it in this spot. We can't fit it there. So we're going to throw it there. And then this line we're going to throw in our storage box. But as we unlock things, we'll be able to... Yeah. Um, his cod is so big it <laughs> touched the moon. Yes, three three heads, three times the fun. <laughs> like all the fingers going. No. <laughs> oh god, I'm gonna get in trouble. Uh, lighthouse keeper, what is it, lady? Uh, do you know any ship rocks around here? She eyes you suspiciously. There's a spot in the back of the Great Marrow where. The current carries the wreckage from the sea. Some nights you can see an a natural glow rising from the patch of dark water. I can't imagine that what's down there in the deep. If you're looking for what I think you're looking for, it's best you move on. Okay. Ah, uh, you approach a woman sitting on the dockside, staring out the sea. She turns mm -hmm. to you. What's it like out there? Well, lady, it's um, it's difficult. Gotta be a damn sight better than this bloody town. I think I just need to get away for a while. Maybe not come back. Going backwards is a mistake, don't you think? You should always keep moving forward. Moving along. Um, uh, it's not it's not so bad here. She's gazing out to sea again, lost in thought. Say, if you find me some materials, maybe you could help me move. I mean, really move. There's an island, island I've heard about. Steel Point, just to the north. Two units of lumber and two units of scrap is all I need, and I can make a new place for myself out there. You'd be welcome to visit, too. <laughs> Stack up the steel point. Uh, when you have anything, I'll pay you for when the job's done. Oh, yeah, she's going to pay me, at least, I guess. So we'll, we'll, we'll maybe help her out. I... <laughs> yeah, this chat is ADHD. It's okay, though. Everybody heard COD and got distracted. COD. <laughs> we traumatized Mahmoud. Oh, jeez. No, she's probably just eating. <laughs> yeah. Let's see, what do we got here? Cabin. Um, pursuits. So we need some lumber. So here's our map. We have these marked. These are shipwrecks. And then we have our crab pot. The three-headed cod. Whew. And actually, I'm gonna sleep. We'll get we'll get some sleep here. We all love cod. I do love cod. <laughs> cod, some good stuff, man. Oh, sorry, Dark Daz. I'll see you later. Thank you. We'll be here every Sunday and Wednesday. Ooh, we got a big, big crab. Um, let's throw him there. Alright, and this is gonna last another day. Um, oh, you'd be eating on stream? Well, I might here. We gotta go catch fish. I need to catch fish. We got the new one. We can catch the big shark. Let's see if we can fit it in here. We shove this shark in here. Barely. We caught our one big fish. Yeah, it, yeah. Snack for later, or a snack for Mom Mod. <laughs> 
<laughs> Millions of people watch videos of me eating. What? Oh, my kind eating. <laughs> Here we go. I have some crabs for the order. Yes. We got our crab. And then we also have a shark for you. Bam. Hey. Want to watch me smash a melon with my thighs? Uh, yeah. All right, mom mod's just like distracting me. <laughs> oh, that was it? Okay. Well, let's go uh, get this bottle. This is a, a bottle, a floating, or a, a message in a bottle. That's what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Here we go. Added to cabin. Messages. All right, let me get a drink. Morning to the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the island and inlets at the back of Greater Morrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows. So I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. Gentlemen, keep your hands off your rod while on your honeymoon. Let your new wife do it. Uh, he renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly. At least you want ill fortune and to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain. Ocean Riches it was a good name. I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see a basket half hidden, stuffed under the blanket in front of the cabin. I love when he tries to be romantic. Hmm. He was playing with his rod too much. <laughs> Let's see, we're halfway reading, or done reading that book. So that's good. Okay, what? What am I missing? Oh. Well, no, keep reading that one. Oh, here's a special fish. Special fish! Get it! Oh, we're about to get a... There it is! Ooh, that's a creepy-ass one. The fanged cod. Deviantly sharp teeth with chunks of smaller fish lodged between. A hunger in its eyes. This is a hungry cod. Oh, and there we go. Boom! Got the gold one. Bam! How many cod can we fit in our boat? There's another one! Woo! We got two fancy ones. Uh, the all-seeing cod. Staring outwards unblinkingly. His eyes borrowed from a larger being, but not the mind to process what it sees. This cod has some big balls. I mean, some big eyeballs. <laughs> yeah, don't die, raindrop. Uh, wait, what? I'm all on the subject. Please only wear gator skin boots. Buy a new pair every month. Support your local turtles. <laughs> Thank you, Harold. Raindrop, uh, over the, over, use your rod, can cause soreness and discomfort. Yeah, and it makes your cod look weird. <laughs> it gets worse with his age. Oh my god. I didn't expect this game to go all like this, with rods and cods and... Popsicle sticks. Mm. <laughs> Big balls. Ooh! Can we fit a shark? Maybe? I don't know. Let's try. Oh, he's gonna be... 
nope, he's not gonna fit, is he? Maybe if we put you there, you there. There we go, see? Tetris. I played a lot of Tetris when I was younger, and it paid off perfectly. Yes, it is. A, it's a perverted game, says Mom Mod. <laughs> Old rods need a blue button. Yep. <laughs> oh, you guys are cracking me up. <laughs> Let's sell this stuff to the fishmonger. Here, fishmonger, take my cod. Um, what else was I gonna do? Ooh, there's the creepy fish. I think that was it for now. Let's sit here for a second. And <laughs> I'm gonna eat my sandwich. Okay, I'm eating my Jimmy John's. It's a very manly, manly, manly talented or talent. What? We're eating plastic now? Oh god. I got roast beef. Oh, the the fishmonger will take my cod in more ways than one raindrop. Just wait. I started an OnlyFans. <laughs> I'm legit gonna have to start an OnlyFans now. Oh, I already see it happening. It's gonna be a bunch of uh not tasteful nudes of Harold. I thought it was a jellyfish. Ooh. Peanut butter and jellyfish. <laughs> that would be an interesting combo. You could actually try it out. I can get jellyfish at that Asian market. This is a spicy Sammy? <laughs> As your lord and savior, I demand a Sammy reveal. Well, I got a, a bootlegger from Jimmy John's. Because I'm a bootlegger. Pretty good. The bread's not super hard like sometimes. Yep, got lettuce, roast beef, turkey, cheese, tomato, mayo. Mm, perfect. Alright, let's get some sleep. I like to wake up a little earlier. Yes, Harold, oh yeah. Harold likes some lettuce. <laughs> that only looks like four inches and not six. Hey, it's a... It's a foot long. I mean, we do have a a tank in the backyard that had a turtle in it at one time. Am I not real enough for you? No, you are, Harold. <laughs> I'll praise Harold. All right, let's get out. We need to catch some more fish. We need more money. So we can upgrade our boat. Actually, we need to go get the relic. Uh, I need a little crab, not a big one. Ow. That's okay, I guess. <laughs> yeah, Harold, come live in the turtle tank. <laughs> Someone measure. I've already eaten like six inches or four inches off or two inches off. Yep. Got another bottle. What does this bottle say?
<laughs> I have a six inch in my mouth. You'll have one in... No. <laughs> I can handle eight. I'm a pro. Uh, let's see. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows of the back of the Greater Morrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate, <laughs> penetrate the hole, but it jostled us around for a few I or, and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is some of the concern, but we believe all the important articles are accounted for. He has been checking over some notes from the boat reaming, re, <laughs> reaming the boat reaming seminar. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a different ceremony. A uh, renaming ceremony. He is paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I have never known him to be so su superstitious. Don't ream your boat. Um. <laughs> That's good, Raindrop. You should be laughing your butt off. <laughs> hey, if Harold's impressed by that, that's... Harold is, uh, yeah. All neck. <laughs> yeah. My mind is deep in the gutter. I am a corrupted cod. <laughs> I am a corrupted cod. <laughs> We were stuck on that island so long, Harold. <laughs> Alright, let's get back to fishing. No more boat reaming ceremonies. <clears throat> fish! We need fish! Ooh yeah, more cod, my favorite. Uh, boop. Uh, oh, we got rods and reels learned. Perfect. Oh, uh, we can't fit any more cod. Wait, now we can fit one more. How many cods can we fit in this boat? Uh, that way, that way. <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> yeah, join the stream in Discord if you want to laugh to death. Where we discuss all things about cods, rods, reaming ceremonies on boats. Oh god, get in there, get in there! Fishmonger, I bring you cod. Oh, oh wait, I don't have the small crab yet. Um, just... I don't want, I, I'll just buy a new one. I don't want to get it fixed. Well, actually, we'll buy two of them. We got enough money. We're rolling in the moolah. <laughs> can fit four cod. Did I only have four? I thought I had more. Ah. We'll go plop. And one out a little deeper. Go plop. Okay, let's go find some big fish. <laughs> you should challenge him. He is to play the game without laughing while we're constantly talking in his ear. Oh, God. Hey, I can, I can be stone cold. You're learning more about me than, what? 
Oh, wait, what is that? Uh, the stone hum, or the stone hums quietly, sending ripples through the air around it. Faint shapes dance upon its surface, vanishing before your eyes can focus on them. Place your hand on the stone. Touch it! The cold stone does not respond to your touch. Aw, that's sad. We're gonna catch some eels. Oh, I don't have... I Yeah, I gotta put the other... Ah, dang it. <laughs> um, Project Zomboid, if he laughs, he starts over. Oh, God. <laughs> I just realized it's 1700 and we're going way out here. This is probably isn't a good idea, but I'm doing it anyway. You guys are about to see the big fish. Wait, there it is. Oh, a bizzle. I didn't know, I've not seen one of these. Okay, we need that's a crazy fishing yeah. <laughs> Harold, he enjoys long walks on the beach, worshiping cods and thro throating subs. Oh man, I don't have the shallow run. <laughs> Everybody keep your eyes open. Didn't catch any big fish. Actually, I need to go get the uh, key. We might do that here. Let's go sleep, and then we'll go over there and get get the key. Jeez. <laughs> yeah, I don't think I can drink on stream on any of the platforms. We'd have to like go to Pornhub or something. I think Twitch and YouTube and Facebook don't allow that. say it. Oh, I should say Prawn Hub. Sorry, YouTube's gonna get mad at me. Um, if I catch a turtle, if it's a, a tainted turtle, would that help? Then I'm getting the tainted turtles out. Keeping things nice. Oh, yeah, it fits in a big cup. <laughs> Oh, raindrops leaving? It didn't show up for me. Oh, it's because... Do I have it on... Hold on. Yeah, it's on live chat. Will you have a good day or good night, raindrop? <laughs> All my children are tainted. <laughs> yeah, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> yeah, you have a good uh, good rest of the week weekend, raindrop. Yeah. I mean, I was there for part of it. I don't know what that noise is, but that's scary. I'm gonna go over here though, because this thing has a red 
red boobly booblies. Oh, it's our first dread. This is the artifact. Okay. It's a few seconds delayed. Oh, no. <laughs> Hold on. Let me... I'm almost through this foot long. <laughs> Mom contributed to 90% of the vulgarity in the scripture. Oh, jeez. <laughs> I need to look at it again. Yeah, if anybody wants to see the scripture of Harold and his adventures, you can get on my Discord. There's a whole section <laughs> made up of the adventures of Harold and the, the word of Harold, the, the turtle head. It is almost through me. It's like coming in, going out, same speed. This one's messy. Here, let's get this E up. Oh God. We got it! Hmm. It's okay, I got a bidet. <laughs> There we go. Jimmy John's is done. I probably have mayo all over my face. I was looking for something to wipe my face out, but I guess I don't. <laughs> is there white stuff on my beard? <laughs> We got this key. An abnormally large and heavy key cast from an unfamiliar metal. The teeth are, of the key are curved and sway before your eyes like tendrils. Ooh, we are getting into the tentacle prawn now. Sure, mayo. <laughs> hey, careful. I know Raindrop left, he's your dad. What what is this over here? Can we catch a shark? Yes, sharks. Oh. Shark? Shark. Oh my goodness. All right, we got to go back to that island. We got to go talk to me. Yeah, hentai. What? The hell was that? Oh, the dolphins. There are dolphins. Can we, can we ram the dolphins? Wait, is that a swordfish? What is that? That is a swordfish. Uh, can we fit it? Let's, well, we'll try. We can always throw it back, right? Holy crap, it's huge. I'm going to take the swordfish. Bye, shark. <laughs> and Ty, that sounded creepy. <laughs> Ooh, woo. 
Yes, I just ooed. Dolphins are the bullies of the sea. They uh do the R word to people. That's what she said. Is that how they do it? Ooh woo! Go drop this giant key off. Otters do too? I did not know that. Ooh, there's a special fish there too. Hurry before it gets dark! Yeah, <laughs> tuna. Uh, you enter the collector's house. He's standing at the back of the room, still holding the silver crimson book. He seems impatient. <sighs> well, you have something, don't you? Show me. You hand him the key. The cold metal shimmers a strange shine as he holds it. The shape of the key, the teeth, the head, the head, <laughs> now somehow seem changed, smaller. Has it always been this way? Hmm. Is this all? Where is the lock? The collector grows agitated. It seems the pieces we're looking for... Or have traveled further than I anticipated. Much further, I suspect. In that case, allow me to aid your travels. He turns a few pages in his book and mutters something low under his breath. Ooh. A burst of light fills your, fills your vision. You stagger back briefly. Now go! You, we have more relics uncovered. Ability unlocked. Uh, my intuition tells me that... Uh, that the current may, may have carried some of the debris southeast towards Gale Cliffs. Make sure, or make that your priority. So southeast. I'll mark a location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? No. No, I'm good. <clears throat> Turtles are superior to all other creatures. <laughs> or we have been and always will be. Uh, yeah. I don't know. Jellyfish. <laughs> Crabs are a close second. Yeah. <laughs> Let us pray. I like that. Let us pray. <laughs> <coughs> oh my god. You guys are going to kill me. No, let me get it before it disappears. No, it disappeared. Wait, that one's a special one over there. I don't know what the hell that noise is. I... Oh, we don't have the shallow water rod. Uh. Well, we have this now. We have haste. So basically, we can go really fast, but it makes us crazier and makes our engine hot, which isn't good. It is good, but it isn't. Oh, God, don't hit the rocks. Um, we gotta check our crab pots. Hey, we got our small crab, finally. I don't like that noise. We need to hurry the hell up and get the hell out of here. Oh, there it is. There's the... Okay. That looks like a boat, right? That's just a normal boat. It ain't. Ooh! A snag squid! Tasting tongues writhe wildly around sets of yellowed, crooked teeth. The top rows are flattened like human molars. It's a weird-ass squid. Uh, but yeah, so those boats are giant fish. Like angler fish. <sighs> Do I have a life insurance policy? Wait, what? <laughs> if so, let us pray. That guy's going crazy. Uh, the lighthouse keeper emerges from the dark forest that flanks the town. She walks towards the dock with a confused look on her face. 
Oh, it's you. Excuse me? Your engine, it sounded like I'm sorry. I mistook it for a vessel of an old friend. Dejected, she turns and walks back toward the lighthouse. Okay, then. Harold says, we're pass we passing out the collection tray so anytime soon since being beheaded. I can no longer work. I have hundreds of children that who don't rely on me. They really need the money. Can't you hover and float in the air? <laughs> Harold's cod is bigger than mine. Yeah, there is a collection tray somewhere. I don't know. It should pop up. Or you could buy a shirt or a sticker with uh, Harold's face on it. If I can, there you go, Harold's head point. You can get it on a t-shirt, a mug, a sticker. They're awesome stickers, by the way. Let's sell this shark and this crab. Here you go, buddy. Here's your crab. 60 bucks, nice. These'll do, glad you got some use of that old pot. You can always buy more here or repair the damaged ones at the shipyard. I have one final request for you. As you've seen, some fish around here are and develop deformities. What do you think happens to the person that eats flesh of one of these mutants? They go mad. <laughs> well, perhaps, but I want to know for sure. Bring me a mutant fish. Any will do. Just keep this between the two of us. Have you got any of those mutant fish with you now? Yes, I have a squid. Squid. The fishmonger takes the aberrated fish from you. He clutches it close to his chest. <laughs> wringing his hands around its slimy bottles body. <laughs> it's got human teeth and tentacles. Yes, this should do nicely. Here's what the fish is worth. And why don't you take these two? Oh, he gave us two. Hmm, do you hear that? It sounds like the faintest whispering. You listen. Silence. In the stillness of the room, the fishmonger hands begin to tremble. His face grows anguished. Please. Sell what you need, then leave. I must deal with this creature quickly now. This fish is $137 alone. Nice. The fishmonger's door slams behind you. You hear a heavy scraping of metal bars sliding across it. You just gave him a... A tainted, mutated squid with human teeth in it. Um, I don't want to know what's going on in there. Oh, that's a good point, Harold. You don't have any appendages. <laughs> All right, bye, Raindrop. You have a good night. You can't, Harold. Raindrop's your dad, though. You gotta say bye, Dad. <laughs> okay. So let's see. We can uh, upgrade. What are we gonna upgrade? We. I should upgrade. We don't have nets yet. I'm going to upgrade the engine. Because that'll... Yeah. Give us a faster engine. And then I'll throw one in the rods. To see, we can unlock... We'll be able to unlock rods as they go. And we'll be able... They can basically be used in more places. That's the one I want, though. The abyssal. Do I need to... How do I get that? Maybe I have to throw one in there. I don't know. We'll try next time. Remind me, I get a when I get a research part to throw it or try and throw it in one of these. We can try out the abyssal. Just, yeah. <laughs> Mom mod is perfect. <laughs> Harold sees all, and Harold needs eye bleach. <laughs> if you only knew. Uh, what do we got? What do we got going? Cabin, map. Okay, so that's where the guy told us to go, and then there's one up here that we need to go look for. I am gonna sleep, though. Perfect. Oh, okay, that makes sense, yeah. Because you've ascended. 
now he's your child and your father, which is weird, but makes sense, I guess. Uh, let's go over here. Get the little crap. That one doesn't have anything. <laughs> yeah, that, that makes sense. I guess I was... Oh, no! I was lucky enough to release... Well, I found your head and I chopped it off. Now oh, we got a piece of wood. <laughs> oh god! Oh god, I hit the I hit the rock. See now that takes spots up. That's not cool. We got a trophy shark though. Bam. Well, let's go fix our boat. Here we'll fill up on these little cod or no, these aren't cod. These are yeah. A lumpy mackerel. That's a condition you don't want. A writhing mass of lumps, twisting and pulling their way under the scales of the vessel. How long can it ha have lived like this? You got the lumpy mackerel. Okay, lumpy mackerel. Yeah, it wasn't until I started streaming that I realized this game is very sexual. A mini-eyed mackerel. Uh, gill plates dotted with eyeballs. Superfluous, but scanning. Frantically, all eyes see right through you. Okay, then. We're just gonna head this way. I'm going to put my phone on charge, but I'm in the background watching. Okay, no worries, Chris. <laughs> oh, jeez. He got stoned off some strong kelp. That deep sea kelp. Let's um, sell our fish. Oh, we can't sell the fish. The fishmonger's door is barred from the inside. Uh. Well, what am I supposed to do then? There, we fix that. Uh. Alright, but this I can uh, throw this board in here. <clears throat> and look at that, I think... Yeah, we unlocked... Two more fishing rod, or no, that'll unlock two fishing rod spots, so we could get more fishing rods or bigger fishing rod. Like in the game I played yesterday, I had three fishing rods in those spots, and yeah, so we could do all three. Oh, we'll see. We are in trouble though. We cannot sell our fish, and our fish are gonna go bad. And we have a a gold a gold shark. Is there anywhere I can sell around here? I'm guessing the other black dots I can sell? <clears throat> I don't know. 1300. Ah. Uh... I mean, I don't know. I guess we're just going to have to sleep and see what happens. Oh, definitely. Definitely grab you some of that deep sea kelp. <laughs> hey, he's back. Ugh, blinding headache today. Did you come by yesterday? I don't recall. Anyway, what can I do for you? We got here. Oh, they're stale. So they're not going to give us as much money, but. 
Whatever. <laughs> he got messed up on that fish. <laughs> so if you see Cthulhu, tell him he still owes me 20 bucks. <laughs> I want my money. Said it. <laughs> it's only 350. <laughs> Cthulhu, that tramp. Oh, and we have... Oh, yeah, I did forgot to turn put the book on. The lumpy mackerel. Ooh. <laughs> Dredge is on Xbox as well. Might have to pick it up. Hey, yeah. It's a pretty fun game. And it just gets crazier. Like, this is... I'm kind of zooming through this whole section here because it's kind of like the tutorial. It gets... It gets crazier. Another crab. I meant to see... Yeah, we're gonna have to go... I think we have to go to the other dock and talk to somebody. <sighs> we are raking in the money, though. We need to actually go dredge. That's what we need to do. But let's go talk to the other... The other dock. Crab Cross! Aw, Kenny's tucking you in. Still sunly. <laughs> yeah, there's a guy over here, I remember. What do you got? There he is, grieving father. Hello, is everything okay? Do you know of any shipwrecks around here? Well, yes, you see, my only son was lost at sea some years ago. He's still out there somewhere, in one of those wrecks, all alone in the cold, dark water. A man is clearly trying his hardest to remain composed, but tremors of grief rack his body. I was wondering, I noticed you have some dredging equipment installed on your vessel. If you're able to retrieve any of his belongings from the wreck, I think I'd feel more at peace if his mementos were with me. Man, this is more reading than I've done in a while on a stream. <laughs> his, yeah, his son is with Davy Jones and Cthulhu. <laughs> he wore a bronze belt buckle, specially engraved. I'd recognize it anywhere. If there's any chance you could find it, I'd be in your debt. Anything else I can help you with? Nope. Let's go find a belt buckle. Harold in a turtleneck? Oh, God. Turtleneck Harold. I think that wreck is... Is it over here? Oh, no. It's on the other side of the island. That's okay. We can go around. I don't know if it hurts to leave your lights on, either. I wonder if it, like, damages the lights over time. I mean, technically, Harold, you'd only need, you could only wear a turtleneck, because a regular sweater wouldn't stay on you. Dredge! There we go. So here we're getting stuff to make our boat bigger, bigger and better. More badass. Here is actually the belt buckle. Oh god. Uh, which I suck at. <laughs> Why do I keep doing that? Woo. 
There we go. We got the belt buckle. Oh my god. Why is it? Oh god, it's dark. When did it get so dark? Who turned off the lights? There we go. Wait, what? Just add the neck buttons or neck belt? Yeah, okay, yeah. I think that's all we can carry. Oh God, that's not good. Um. We're gonna get it because we're here. Perfect. Now we gotta get out of here. Uh -huh. <laughs> it could be. Uh, that thing right there is not good. I can tell you that right now because I ran into one of those yesterday. Oh God, get out of here. This is where the game gets fun. Everything is going crazy. Uh... <laughs> oh, jeez. Right. Now I'm just headbutting butts. Hey, that works. I know, that thing was creepy. I ran into it yesterday and it, yeah. <clears throat> oh my, you look exhausted. You're not forgetting to get some sleep, are you? As I always say, take frequent breaks is an important part of being productive. Uh, I'll sleep when I'm dead. Oh, we don't have any fish. Never mind, fishmonger, I just wanted to say hi. Ah. Oh wait, I went to the wrong one again. <laughs> Run, it's my ex-wife! Oh no. We have this stuff though. We need one more piece of wood. Um this one bloop. Yeah, we need wood. Yeah. We've got a good good ways to go on those. She's the devourer of wallets. Yeah, it's like my ex. <laughs> yeah. Ah, so we gotta return the belt buckle. We don't have any more books. And we are full on crazy now, which is perfect. Yeah, that's how it usually goes. Yeah, we can join the Crazy X Club. Oh shit! Fuck off, that's never happened before. That was a straight up tornado, just like came at me. <laughs> okay, well, let's go to the trader. Sell him this iron chain. Thank you for the seven dollars. Uh, talk to the grieving father. There's your belt buckle. I almost died. <laughs> Give the man the buck bu belt buckle. I know I'm going bananas. This is this is his. Oh, thank you. Bless you. You've returned him to me. Please take this. I've not any money to pay you, but this might hold some value to you. Hell yes. Anything else I can help you with? Yep, I better go. Go throw this in my boat. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, I can't use it. Hmm. So do I have to unlock all of these to get that, I guess? I guess so. 
Well, let's get this... There we go. We can get a, a better fishing rod that does coastal and shallow now. Like you live in the Midwest, dodging tornadoes. <laughs> yeah, like a wrench. Go right in the tornado. I it, it would. I think it damages me. I can try if it. If I see another one. I need to go to sleep, but we got fish to catch. I like how everything is like all. Crazy and yeah. <laughs> Gotta catch our fish. That's all of them. <laughs> Throw that rod, it looked like a cod. <laughs> Here's a cod for you. Heck yeah, we got three cod. We're all fully packed and ready to rock. Sunlight, though, makes me go a little less crazy as well, so... <sighs> We're already feeling better. Alright, let's sell our fish. Man, I got... yeah. We got all the money. Wait, didn't he give me a... oh, I already spent it. Yeah, we gotta, let's get that other fishing pole. So we got, okay, this one does shallow. <sighs> oh man, here, we're gonna have to put this one away then. Um, So this one does coastal, that one does coastal and shallow. Okay, and we'll sell this one, right? And then we can sell this one. Bam! Because that one does both. So see, we knocked out one pole, or two poles, and we have one. Vienna sausages. What? I like Vienna sausage. Um, What am I doing here? Oh, we got better lights. I don't know why I bought that, but... There, I bought it, and it's in our storage box. Let's get some sleep. Alright. What is the plan today? I guess we gotta go... Let's go check out that wreck. We need more wood and metal and stuff like that. I like spam. I like fried spam. I just realized, too, we didn't have our lights on when <laughs> we were going around last night. <laughs> what? Oh. Sorry, right, smell bad. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Get the crazy stingray that'll barely fit. There we go. Yeah, I like fried spam. There we go. We can get more wood. More wood. That's it. Okay. Meat cake? What? 
I like meat. <laughs> That's all I look up and all I see is I look like meat. And do you, Mom Mod? Um, we're going the wrong direction. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Seawater on some lettuce. Yeah, okay, that... The island right ahead of... I'm, like, not paying attention. I'm gonna, like... It's gonna turn dark, and I'm not gonna notice... We're going out on the open ocean. It's a big fish, but I kind of need to get... Oh, I gotta go on the other side of this island. Okay. Yeah, Mama doesn't like seaweed. <laughs> you must partake in seaweed. Um, actually, no. I need. We need wood and we need, uh. I mean, we'll get this. We need wood and cloth, I think, more than scrap metal at the moment. Whoa, that's a big chalice. We need wood! I got wood! I think there's a better way to... Yeah, there we go. Bam! Perfect! Got some wood, and it is dark, and we are gonna die. <laughs> oh god well, I'm gonna sleep here there we go perfect blood for the blood god skulls for the skull throne Do that blood for the blood god it even turns red you're a normal human of <laughs> just shoot the bear <laughs> I'm gonna sell you this stingray for twenty one dollars I'm gonna go throw this wood in my vessel. Bam! So we got two more cargo spaces to hold rods. Nice. We can hold a bigger rod now. And what is this one? Modifies two cargo. Yeah, so we can hold bigger engines. Bigger rods and bigger engines. Nice. I think, yeah, so we can put this here. Now we can go faster. And then we have we a bigger spot for uh, a bigger rod. <laughs> yep. I used your shell for more than just rain collection. Um... We're gonna put. Oh, I can only. Oh, we can put it there. I don't know what it does. I still don't know what this does. That's okay, right? 
Oh, let's go catch some fish. Oh, and we still didn't get the whatever that was. Okay, let's go back. Oh, I'm using it as a sled. <laughs> using it as a sled. Collect rain. As a toilet. Add an extra uh, little body when I'm, you know. Great for multitasking. Yes. When you don't have much, you gotta make things do more than one thing. What do we got? Stingrays. And it takes a while to get over here. Oh, jeez. Kenley, don't body slam mama. What we need. Oh, that was it. Oh, God, it's dark again. Am I mi- Oh, God, that thing's back. It's still there. I guess that's just marking where we need to drop off stuff. <laughs> oh shit, this is just bad. Ah! Ah, it's chasing me! Nope, 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 go away, go away. Oh! It just hit me. It took out one of my engines. Took out one of my engines. We're home. I'm good. Ow. Oh, wait, I didn't. Well, that's wasting time. <laughs> that thing took out one of my engines. Holy crap. And actually, I should, I should probably... Let's see. This does 15 knots. This one does 10. So let's sell this anyway. To get this engine, because it's quicker. There we go. Holy crap. Okay. Um, we need wood and scrap for a better light, but we can make, we can now have nets. <clears throat> nice. <laughs> Get him. Deliver net echo to me. <laughs> Guy was right on my ass. He bit my motor. About got me. I didn't realize those guys, like, chased you. Um... All right, so we need to throw this in storage. We need to sell that. Ah, eh, we don't need to sleep. We'll sleep when we... Yeah. When we're dead, which probably will be very soon. Yeah! Yeah! Hey, you can go beat. I ate on stream, so. Let's sell this giant cup. Thank you. Wait, we only have $127? Wow, I, I'm spending my money quick. 
We need to go catch some fish. Really? How bad can one man be at catching fish? Can we fit another one? No. Over here, catch these. Wow, those get depleted quick. Okay, we got a golden cod. Trophy cod for the win. Looks like that's all we can get. Wait, what are, what are we hitting? I'm hoping to devour his soul, but he got away. They are floating. They hating you. No, I'm sailing dirt. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See me floating the hating. I can't pick those up. Oh man. Just need to play that song while yeah. While I'm doing this. Sell all. We need more money. Um, yeah, I mean these it passively catches fish when in or when deployed. So that would be good when we start exploring. We need to pick up a little bit. Oh yeah, I did drop a couple frames. It should be good now. Dang it, frames! Say, people are gonna like hear me though out the window and wonder what the hell is going on in here. <laughs> They'll be like, uh, ooh, a grotesque mackerel, corrupted scales and bulbous eyes like nothing you've seen before. He's bulbous. <laughs> bulbous mackerel. Another one! We caught two! Two bulbous mackerels! <laughs> Hanging above my head. <laughs> oh no. Don't die, Mamad! I need you to help me with my rod! Fishmongers, mongers, buy my fish. Grotesque mackerel. Ooh. Uh, we need to go get. We need to get. Yeah, wood and scrap. <laughs> they must. Yeah. <laughs> All they hear is, Mama, I need you to <laughs> take care of my rod later. Oh, jeez. Um. It's funny, too, because when I said that, I looked over and there was a lady walking down the sidewalk. Hey, special fish. Oh, God. Oh, God. Ooh, we got a, what is it? The all-seen cod. Okay. Well, we have already caught fish, so let's catch fish. <clears throat> they already hate us? Yeah, good point. 
<laughs> shark! Shark! Alright, let's head... Uh, yeah, let's head back. Drop these fish off, and then we'll go see if we can't find some wood. And there go my frames. No frames! Apologize if the stream's going crazy. That cod is a false prophet. He is. Cranking up the money, though, again. That's good. We'll try and find some scrap metal and wood. Yeah, look around here. I think that might be... No, we don't need any of that right now. We need... We need... Oh, don't... No, God. Oh, no, the hydraulic rod is disabled. We broke our rod. And it's raining. Dang, I was hoping... Yeah, see, here's a spot, though, that we need to blow up. And I know where to get the stuff to blow up. We just need to... Yeah. hey -o. <laughs> Wait, what is that? All that's left of this boat is an old husk. You pull a little closer. Look inside. Hey, look at that. Wood. A citrine ring. A, yes, a research part. And an old iron chain. Oh, God. We're going to hit the rock again and die. Another new one, a brood squid. Tentacles sprout from glowing core inside a gelatinous sack. Other cores lay dormant alongside. Gelatinous sack. <laughs> I got a gelatinous sack. For I am the true prophet, or prophet, depending on how well I do. <laughs> Herald is the religion of the future. Yeah. I created a religion. Well, my chat did. Let's see, we gotta throw it in here. Boop. We need one piece of scrap metal. Hearing stuff, it's like, what? What is going on? Throw you in there. Those I can sell to the one guy. Huh. Now we gotta fix our engine or our fishing rod. We need to fix our rod. There we go. Um, I think that's it. And we got a re research part. We can either go engines or pots or nets. I might do engines. Oh, I, yeah, I, yeah, 36, 26. Yeah, I mean, we want the faster one. I mean, it takes up the same amount of space, so we want the faster one. <laughs> want to touch the sack? What? <laughs> I have a sack for you. Sack of poopy diapers. Wait, nope. Isn't the peach like the butt? Or the, uh, yeah. It is kind of smooth. How did you know that? 
Cabin, Encyclopedia, the Brood Squid for the gelatinous sack. All right, let's go sell this stuff. Turn off our lights for the moment. The butt? Okay, what's the butt? I wanna touch your butt. The butt, <laughs> the butt sack. Ah. Ah, he says. What were we doing? We need to, yeah. We need fish. Let's go catch some fish. Or no, we need a piece of metal. Let's go look over here. Maybe there's scrap metal around here. Fish. The butt sack. I'm just kind of cruising around. Looks like, yeah, that's a shipwreck over here. So hopefully we can find some scrap metal. Okay, no. Wood. Uh, ring? Sure. Ooh, a silver trinket. Nice. Okay. There's some scrap metal. Give me all your scrap metal. Yes. Was that a bird or... I don't want to know what that is. I'm getting tired. Is it 11 p.m. yet? <laughs> no, we got a ways to go. I don't even know what time it is. Um, Can we get any wood? Yeah, we can fit at least... One piece of wood? What the hell is that noise? Are there... Monkeys on this island? Hey, we got our one piece of wood. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, God. Oh, God. Nope. Fuck off. It's chasing me. Oh, God. It's, it's damaging me. Our terror engine damage or disabled. Okay, that's fine. Oh, fuck. It's, it broke my lights. We died. You had me in your grasp. You got me. <laughs> I didn't know you could die. Wow. So our first death. With that though, I'm gonna take a quick potty break and a Mountain Dew break and <laughs> delicious. <laughs> oh geez. Let me see, I gotta, I gotta put some creepy music on. Um. What, what sounds creepy? A night you won't forget. Oh, it's only... 
I don't know about that one. Here we go. This will work. Okay, I'll be back in just a minute. I'm going to go use the restroom, get a, another drink, let my vocal cords rest for a little bit. I know that was kind of intense, wasn't it? Freaking crazy-ass thing scared the hell out of me. Okay. Yes, I will be back in just a minute. You guys be good. No touching the butt sacks. No touching butt sacks. Oh, geez. What did I miss? <laughs> you like my butt pillow? <laughs> I need it, man. When you sit in the chair for hours. And I feel good. Oh, I fart a lot into it. <laughs> yeah, I bought some uh, $80 gaming chairs. They weren't very comfortable. Um, Uh-oh, what happened to the game? Oh, yeah. I'm dead. Load less, save! Where? Oh... Wait, is this... That means we gotta go back out there, okay. I think it's saved right when we... Yeah. We're good, we're good. We'll just go back out. Oh, sorry. Is it loud? <laughs> you broke it. Uh-oh. Oh, that's not... Yeah. Smells like a giant zipper and... Sm oh, wait. What? Sounded like... <laughs> it smells like a giant zipper and looks like a... Looks like dead flesh. I don't know what a zipper smells like. Okay, let's get back here, though, before, uh... <sighs> That's a hospital visit, yeah. Okay, we're gonna... Oh, 
pull this first. Oh god. Yeah, that's what's taking so long, is this takes time to actually dredge. I don't like the sounds those animals make. I can't tell if they're birds, monkeys, or creatures of the deep. Maybe all four, or all three, all four. What am I talking about? My brain is not here. Okay, turn the light on. Get the super speed and get the hell home. Let's go. Your children making noises? Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's okay. Nope! Oh god, oh god! That rock just came out of nowhere. Oh god, it's right behind us! Run! <laughs> Go play, I'm the mod now. <laughs> yeah, again, we don't have any fish. I just wanted to see you, fishmonger. Admire your... Sexy beard. Um, here we go. We have a better light space now. We can put our new light in. Now, ooh, a new hall. Oh my god. What is this? Refined metal. How do we get refined metal? That's cool. Okay. Um, but for now, we can go ahead and sell this. And install this one. Maybe? How do I install it? Oh, there we go. Okay. Yeah, okay. 1,800 lumens. Perfect. We got a good light now. Harold needs a captain's hat. Oh god, yes. That's yeah. We can just do runs. They'll have different hats. We got Chef Harold, Captain Harold, Astronaut Harold. Oh yeah, good point. Yeah. <laughs> do we have any a new what does this one do? 15? What does our old engine do? 14 knots. I can't seem to sell that one, though. I'm just going to throw... There we go. I mean, those go... A whole knot faster. A comrade Harold. <laughs> Dr. Harold, Sergeant Harold. Yeah, see? Okay, so I'm going to have to remember that. We need to make... I need to make stickers or something of Harold with all the different hats. We got to make a list in the Discord or something. Because my brain is bad. Um... Oh, I can throw those into the dry dock. Oh, God, what am I do? I keep hitting the wrong button. There we go. <laughs> okay. 
Well, let's get some sleep. Just a little bit of sleep. That's all we need. Um, we need to get our crab pots. Yeah, we'll just have a whole collection. Herald stickers. And then once I get enough... Oh no, he missed the gold one. I can make a stuffed animal herald with different hats. Or even better yet, I wonder if we can make like little action figures. Ooh, there we go. Yeah, I need to save room for the last crab pot. <laughs> Depiction of my birth special edition. Now oh, that would be cool, yeah. Just have different hats, collect them all. Yeah, you have a tablet, yeah. Mom Mod's gonna draw them for us. Uh, achievement unlocked. Lives for profit. I'm just gonna buy one. We need to go sell that. That necklace we found. It's a stuffed turtle head and neck with fun hats and other accessories. <laughs> but totally, that would be awesome. Yeah, it'd be like Mr. Potato Head, but uh, Turtle Head. Mr. Turtle Head. Ooh, 30 bucks. Nice. Um, and then we need to drop this. Bloop. I love how it makes the little bloop noise. There we go. Ooh, that's all we can fit. We need to get a Oh, more, yeah, space. We can't fit anymore, Captain. <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, we could do all kinds of stuff with Harold. The Harold action figure. Okay, now we need to come up with a plan. What are we doing here? We could go to the bottom X. That's where I went yesterday. And I, that's where we get the dynamite to blow up the walls. So I might do that. I think that's the, the plan. We'll get some sleep. Wake up early. There we go, and head out. We can try our new light out. Bam! Look at that! Super bright. <laughs> Heck yeah, do Jack. Yeah. Make Herald emojis, because once we get to a thousand subscribers, I'll be able to give, yeah my own emoji or like uh yeah special special sauce <laughs> all right let's see where are we going we need to go out more this way all right yes medico special sauce Careful, one drop and it'll make your world a mess. 
We're going into the deep ocean now. Hold on, everybody. Smoke them if you got them. Oh god, I'm going like the totally wrong direction. <laughs> well, not totally wrong, but... Yeah, one drop made Kenny, so, yeah. <laughs> oh, jeez. Yeah, it only took one. One try to make Kenny. Pretty much. <laughs> Sort of like that guy just unzips his zipper and, uh, yep. <clears throat> okay, here we are in a new island. New island. One day I'll tell you about my 348 children. <laughs> oh, oh no, what is that? Oh no, it's a tornado. Message in a bottle. Artifact Manifest. Vessel SY Grand Prize. Owner, Mr. Michael Schultz. Port Gale Cliffs. Oaken Music Box. Purchased from the Antiquarian My Little Morrow for a bargain price. Previously salvaged from an undisclosed shipwreck. Has the letter J carved on the other side, otherwise in reasonable condition. Has not been opened for fear of damaging the mechanism. Pending inspection by locksmith. A wooden mask. Carve wooden tribal mask said to bring good luck, fertility, good health, fortune, rain, and protect from evil spirits. Traded for a pair of socks and a pocket watch chain. 12 piece tea set. Bone china, six cups and six saucers acquired from the eastern dealer. Do not use jar of earth. A jar containing earth from a meteor impact site, allegedly. Sounds like my kind of manifest. <laughs> hey, we need our sleds and water collectors and heads on my wall. What is this? That looks cool. New town. Ingefell. We got Ingefell resident. What is it? You need help with anything? I've been trying to prepare for a special meal for my partner, but I've been having some issues. Around here, we consider aged conger eel to be a particular delicacy. You may say they're rotting, but they're delicious if prepared correctly. Normally, we bury them in the ground and allow them to mature, but our dog keeps digging them up and eating them. I can't raise a sub or the subject without spoiling the surprise. Can you bring me an aged conger eel? Yes, I can bring you an aged, aged conger eel. <laughs> Thank you. You'll be... Decently compensated. Bow chicka wow wow. <laughs> Socks, bro likes feet. <laughs> Anything else? Where can oh. I catch a conger eel? Ah, yes, they can be tricky to find. I'm told they inhabit the holes and burrows within the cliffs themselves. Imagine they've been fished out around the edges, so you may have to venture into the passageways of the cliffs to find them. Oh, and did I mention that they only come out at night? Yes, I believe they hide during the day. Good luck! Anything else? Nope. Aged like me? Yeah. I was buried underground and aged to a ripe 40 years old. That's okay. Uh, what else do we have? Mm. Retired whaler. What is it? Is there any shipwrecks around here? Real wreck around here is settlement at Gale's Cliff. My brother ditched us and moved on over the cliffs a year ago. Or years ago. I suspect he's regretting his decision now, by devil. Anything else? Eh, whatever. Okay. So we ought to fish for an eel at night. What is this? Can I go... Nope, okay. Yeah, it's okay. We just got Jimmy John's. I'm not too hungry. An old man emerges from one of the nearby broken buildings and hobbles towards you. Ah. Hermit. Oh, ah, greetings. Don't get many visitors around here. What is that that you need? 
Uh, this place doesn't seem safe. Why do you live here? I I've been a stubborn or stubbornly holding out here for quite some time. Truth be told, I've been reconsidering my position lately. I have been happy or have been happy here for so long, but my wife had I or my wife and I had such a beautiful life until the collapse. Oh. Now I'm alone and cut off by land and sea, up with only these trembling rocks on all sides. Oh. I could help you move. Not that simple. My brother would never, you see. I used to live in Ingofell with my brother. He was a whaler back in the day. Things were bad. We fought a lot, mostly about how our parents' inheritance should be divided. We were in prime foolishness of our youth. When my wife and I decided to move here, I took the family crest. I stole it from him. Now, after all this time, I can't return without it. Where is it? That's where the problem lies. After the collapse, that creature... It dragged debris from the house down to the wretched burrows. The crest went down with it. It's a lost cause, I know, but if you were to find it, it is a large whale bone crest. It would mean the world to me. Ah. Sure, I'll look for it. Thank you, but please be careful. And that looks like all I can do here. Okay. We need a rotting eel and the family crest. Oh, it looks like it marked it. Okay, so it's right over here. Okay. When are you going to play Fortnite? <laughs> I played Fortnite a while ago with my son. <laughs> <laughs> And it's your turn to do laundry and cook and watch Kenny because holy crap, I need a break. Yeah. We all need breaks. Oh my god. Uh, I'm going to sleep until sunrise. There, this. That's, that's early enough. It looks like one of the relics is inside there. We need to go get this thing. What the fuck? Ah! Giant fish is chasing me. <laughs> I suck at this. There we go. All right, we need to go get whatever that... We need the, the crest. The family crest. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> yeah, I do the trash. <laughs> um, yeah, we gotta go this way. I want to get this stuff, but I don't know how big the thing is that we need. Think that's it? Yep, okay. There we go, okay. A magnificent family crest carved from a whale's jawbone. This must be important to somebody. Wait, what? Does he shower afterward? He's nasty sometimes? I'm nasty? Wait, what? <laughs> oh god, what, what is going on? What did we get? Oh, okay. Yep, so we gotta bring that back to the dude. I might s oh, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to pick this up. No, we can't because it's broken. Damn it! 
What is going on? What is going on? Oh, fuck me! Nope! That's a giant fish. That's a giant fish chasing me. And there's a tornado. Oh, God. That's not cool. Um, I hope I'm going the wrong, right way. I need my back popped. I kind of do too. <laughs> I don't know where I'm going. I need to get out of here somewhere safe. Yeah, I know. The boats don't... R I'm kind of running. Oh no, there's that thing too. Oh <laughs> god. Everything's out to get me. <laughs> oh, okay, here. I believe this crest is yours. Gods, I haven't seen this since... <laughs> So he did take it. I knew it. Um, your brother's sorry. Hmm, I don't know if I was in the right state when he left. <sighs> okay, fine. He can stay in my old workshop at least for the time being. But I need some time to clear it out. While I'm out doing or doing that, perhaps you can do something for me. See, I've been trying to clear some debris from the pathways through that cliff to make a shortcut with explosives. I was able to set a charge, but the cliff seemed particularly unsteady that day, so I didn't risk detonating it. You just need to get in there and set it off. It's not fair, far in. I left some yellow flags nearby. You can't miss it. Anything else? Where did you say the explosives were? Head through the rock arch in the southeast, follow the channel, and you'll see a yellow flag on the right. Anything else? Nope. No, that's of material I'm not taking pictures. <laughs> I'm debris. You get to live rent free. <laughs> what? <clears throat> I'm confused. I'm so confused. Donate the explosives. Hell yes. But for now, we're going to sleep. I'm gonna sleep. Okay, let's go blow some shit up. Um, I think it's this way. Oh, okay. <laughs> She's pimping me out. And okay, that's okay, I guess. Motherfucker! That giant fish ate me. You're managing your assets? Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Hey, I'm just a horny old man, so... You get what you get. <laughs> that fish ate me. Well, let's try this again, I guess. At least now I know what I'm kind of doing. What the? Okay, then. This fish is just going to keep eating us. Maybe we need to drive past it? Lure the fish out? Let's 
see here. I know, float faster. <laughs> Did I lose him? Oh, uh, the gaps you see against large white teeth. There's a long fuse trailing from that must be location where the waller wants a shortcut of light. Yes, light it. You light the fuse. Holy crap, the breed crumbles away. You should let the whaler know. I'm gonna dredge this really quick before that fish eats me again. A doubloon. Nice. A tornado. Nice. <laughs> Flow faster. Oh, this is a new fish. wreck fish. I can't pick any more up, though, because... Oh, God. Get out of here! That giant fish is coming back. Oh, yeah, we'll get to there. Yeah. Ah! Mountain Dew tastes like the nectar of the gods. Tastes like sweet honeysuckle and erotic joy. I don't know. Ah, oh, there go my frames. Frames! My boat is messed up. Come on, frames. I know it is. It's a ghost. Ghost juice. Fish in a bottle. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. That was probably piss, not Mountain Dew. Just, just saying. Sorry about my frames. I don't know what's going on here. Let's talk to the retired whaler. You've done it! We heard the blast from here. Gods, the echo. I'm surprised the cliffs didn't come down on your head. I've got things ready here. Go and tell my brother that he can come home. Okay, we gotta go tell the hermit he can go home and live in his brother's shed. Man, man, then we need to go fix our boat. Like, our rod is broken again. Tired whaler, I bet he knows my mom. Oh, God. <laughs> ah. Hello again. What can I do for you? Your brother forgives you. He's found a place for you to stay. He does? That's a huge weight off my chest. One so old, I hardly remember it was there. <laughs> right. Well, I'm packed and ready to go. Um, yeah, about that. Oh. You can't fit in my boat, old man. Dang it, I gotta get rid of this fish. The hermit climbs aboard with all his belongings. Hold on, buddy, it's gonna be a fun ride. <laughs> All right, let's go, Hermit. <clears throat> you don't know what you just did. Welcome to the 
the bang, bang boat. The bang boat? Why did that just pop in my head? That thing is over there. Well, here we are. The hermit notices the old whaler standing on the dock waiting for him. Little brother, you're home. I, I, I was on the bang boat. I mean, I'm so sorry. I was fool so foolish. We both were. Come on inside and let's, let me get your bags. The two brothers walk away down the dock. One of them pauses for a moment and turns back to you. Oh, stranger. If you find any more debris that needs clearing, I'm working on making some more packed explosives. Uh. Come by the old whaling yards any time. We can buy explosives now. You're into old men? I am. <laughs> First old man, the board's your boat, and you immediately think of Bang Boat. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> I hope you can put these to good use wherever you find cause for it. Holy crap, all the explosives. Oh, they're forty dollars a piece. <laughs> I don't care. I need all of them. Thank you. They're just gonna fill, yeah, fill our storage up with explosives. So we need a hole full of explosives. Then if we hit a rock, it won't freaking matter. I'm a sailor in the navy. The mom mod navy. All right, let's get some sleep. Go blow that rock up, and then we can get the other uh, artifact and get home and fix our boat, hopefully. I <laughs> gotta get those lunch discounts. <laughs> so is there anything else here? No, just storage. Okay. Let's see. Can I blow you up? Pile of loose debris. It looks like it could be cleared by... Yep. Use the explosives! Set the charges! Blow it up! The debris crumbles away. Give me your artifact! We got a rusted music box. Holy crap, that's big. A large oak box with a rusted hand crank on the side. It emits a low rhythmic chime as it rocks in the waves. Or with the waves. Awesome. Might as well dredge this too. We're going to need some money. Sapphire earrings. The mob mon navy sounds scary. You've heard her cuss. <laughs> you are badass, mob mod. And you have a nice ass. Um... Yeah, I guess let's get home. Before, yeah. Oh yeah, we have this too. <laughs> and we have this, which is kind of cool. You can, like, see, yeah, fish and stuff. <laughs> I think the streamer likes you, Mama. I hope so. She's my, my sexy, beautiful wife. And what the fuck is that? Dolphins! Hit him! Run into him! Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. You can show me your ass. That's for the OnlyFans. Oh, jeez. Well, we made it home. 
We only died like three times. Holy crap! Or I should say, holy crab! Yeah, he's not gonna fit. Dang it. I'll be back for you. Come in full speed. Uh, it's basically my engines are getting too hot. <laughs> Holy crab. 20 bucks, that's it? Well, we gotta fix... That takes so much money. I think that's all we need. Uh, dry dock. There we go. Do we have anything else? We have explosives. Will explosives give me a new hull? <laughs> Did you just dismember Jeff? <laughs> I didn't mean to hit shit. That, actually, that was from that giant fish trying to eat me. good then so let's get some sleep don't drink in boat <laughs> hey if I'm a Cthulhu uh, fisherman it comes with the gig giant crab <laughs> Blame the innocent fish. The innocent giant fish that wanted to eat me. Oh, wait, I didn't read that. Crap! Pulls a book from the stack sitting on his desk and hands it to you. Oh, okay, it's a new book. Awesome. Let's sell all that stuff to him. We got a new book to read The Relaxed Mind. Just what I need. <laughs> A designator boater. A motorboat, you. Motorboating son of a bitch. Alright, let's go give this guy this music box. So you've returned. I wasn't sure you were coming back. You drag the massive music box into the room, gouging the wooden floorboards beneath it. The collector doesn't seem to mind. He's focused on the box. You found this at the cliffs, didn't you? Yes. Ah, excellent. Ah. This should make future return journeys a little more swift. Allow me. He selects one of the silver ribbon trailing from the crimson brown book, bound book, opening it to some unseen page. Turning to catch the dim light, he whispers the word on the page. Which is motorboat and son of a bitch. Oh, that's more than one word. After a few seconds, you feel your stomach drop suddenly, and, and though thrown high by a wave, he closes the book and turns his attention back to you. We got ability manifest. Instantly return to Blackstone Isle. Oh my god, that's awesome. Now, oh, there are yet more relics to find. Keep looking. The reef at Stellar Basin may have caught and accumulated some wreckage. Search around that area. I'll mark the location on your map where you can begin your search. Anything else? I'm good, bro. My breasticles have, haven't have felt love since I was <laughs> but a young turtle. Oh my god. <laughs> Need a menu plan? Um, hot dogs, hamburgers, pizza, spaghetti. That's all I know. <laughs> All right, what do we got here? <clears throat> now we got a new one. 
And there's something over here that we missed. I didn't go to. Spaghetti pizza. Hell yeah, dino chicken nuggets. Let's see. Let's see. What are we what are we doing here? We can go back and see what that other thing is and try and catch one of those weird eels. I don't know, let's do that since we our boat is kind of fixed. You like fish sticks, bro? Teleport yourself back to where it all began. That's kind of cool. I'll burn some lettuce. <laughs> Let us pray. Is there yeah there is something here what is what are you what are you it's bubbling a lot ah some more chain that's it huh well want to be one me <laughs> Oh, jeez. What is this place? Freaking tornado came out of nowhere. It's got a bigger boat. Hey, buddy. I'll shade your boats. Ahoy there. You're a new face. A fisherman, I take it. Perfect. Well, we should get along like a house on fire. <laughs> I'm a traveler and a merchant. I all rolled into one. If you have any fish to sell, I'll take them on board and sell them at my next town. We could have sold the fish here. Likewise, I haul small cargo of equipment between places. You're welcome to cruise my stock and see if there's anything that takes your fancy. <laughs> I can cruise her stock. Come and see me when you're ready to trade. Okay, so this is like a little yeah. bit of everything into one. Hey again, come by for a chat. Do you need help with anything? Assistance from an angler? Absolutely. I've been trying to collect records of where each species of fish is located. I've figured out most of them on my travels so far, but there are a few I haven't been able to track down. Reckon you could share some info with me? Sure. Great, the fish I have left to track down are oarfish, gulper eel, haha, <laughs> gulper eel, goliath tigerfish, and holocanth? I know a little about each species already, so maybe I can point you to the right direction. Mm. What do you want to know? Tell me about the gulper eel. <laughs> I know that gulper eels live in the deep depth imaginable. You have, you have to have some special gear to catch those. Okay. So we can come back to this. You want all the herald? <laughs> Oh, whatever, let's... Okay, oarfish. Murky swampy waters. Uh, primordial feel to them. Huh. I think that's all I need. So yeah, she's got a little bit of everything. Mm. She's got a dry dock, so we can upgrade our boat. Nice, okay. This is just basically like the other town. What do you got for sale? It's just the same stuff? I think it is. Yep. Oh! She's got refined metal. And a research part. We need the refined metal for the hull. I need $500. buying it. 
Okay, we need five hundred dollars. <laughs> what? Dutch oven me? She does that already. Yeah. Engines. Bloop. Thank you. Fish market. Okay, well, let's... We need fish. We need to get up to $500 so that we can get that. That's fine. You can go to Sam's. Sounds good to me. Tiger mackerel. Ooh, a flayed mackerel. Rendered flesh with muscle and bone exposed. It goes, or this gory mess of a fish can't have lived for like this long. Yummy. Now we actually, we gotta go find that weird eel. Maybe it's over here. No, this isn't eels, but it's a special fish. What the fuck is that? This is a different game. A stonefish. Um, crap. Oh, I don't have enough room. It's dark. <laughs> yeah, unfortunately, my mod gets to me all. <laughs> Buy my fish. I need five hundred dollars. Actually, I might. Uninstall that for now and put it in there so we can carry more fish. Yeah, I have an idea. Let's put that in there too, right? We're not doing any ocean fish here. We got to catch that stupid eel. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Waking up with a turtle head in bed. Uh, we're gonna sleep, wake up early, like now, get out there. Oh, I was hoping we'd be able to make it there in time. I don't think we are. I think we woke up a little too late. No, maybe we got there. Perfect. And that's it. Okay. What are you? Okay. Perfect. Ah. Uh, that's all I can carry, huh? Um... Yep, okay. Maybe we can catch a fish or a piece of wood. Yeah, we can fit some wood in here. Oh, he's got a little room for some wood. And it looks like we're done reading our book. Nice. Uh, if he's got to go poop, that's none of my business. Wait, what? Oh. <laughs> Sam's or high V. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. We just broke our boat. Damn it. Yeah, is it buffering? 
frames. Um, I don't know. Sam's or high V. I guess either or. <laughs> Learn to boat. Damn, so that bro broke our boat and we lost a fish. Mm. <sighs> Dang it. Um, What do you need? You need wood. One bolt of cloth and that refined metal. And $500. So we need $1,000. Because we got a... Oh my god. Um, yeah, we need a thousand dollars. Okay, let's go catch some fish. Catch all the fish. That's it, really? I need to go find one of those eels, but I'm kind of afraid of that giant fish in here. Oh, I need oceanic in there, okay. That's those damn rockfish. I need an eel, please. An eel. A salmon. Yeah, fuck it. A decaying black mouth. Uh, shimmering blackness permeates the fish of this relentless fish, or flesh of this relentless fish. Muscles atrophied and decaying, but still it swims on. Love you too! <laughs> I'm looking for an eel. If you know where an eel is, let me know. Eels? Oh, there's a big giant fish out there. Oh no, that's just that bot. Okay, god. You scared me, lady. Okay. That's the rock. Oh. I don't like that. We're gonna go this way. Fuck is that noise? Oh, it's the giant fish! Fuck off! Woo! -hoo! <laughs> the world's fastest nope. Yeah, I know. Oh god, we're damaging our engines. What the hell is that? Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> that hurt. Um, we lost half our fish. One of them got infected. 
Okay. Well, I would, but I lost all my stuff. I almost died there, yes. If I would have taken one more hit, we would have died. Oh my god. What was I doing? I am full crazy at the moment, too. <laughs> okay, we got some weird fish. We got the message, though. Okay. 9th of September, 1927. He still refuses to take me aboard when he's working. He's convinced that I will find out or find it dull or that the crew will be crass or otherwise intolerable. Perhaps I'm being overly needy. I know he needs time alone, but I am so desperately bored at home when he is away. He recently installed some salvaging equipment onto the boat. I think the idea of pulling up treasure is terribly exciting. I must convince him to let me have a go. I mean, you let he let you have a go with his, with his rod, so might as well with the dredge. Yeah, <laughs> T-Body, yeah. That was panic mode. That giant... That was a shark with a freaking plasma mouth. I don't know what the hell that was. Holy crap. Okay, let's... let's. We're just gonna sleep the day away. We need to... Yeah. Probably wasn't the best idea, but... Whew. There. Now we can get a early start. I don't even know how much money we have, but that's okay. That was insane. Can we blow this up? Yes, blow it up! Wait, what? Yes, I do. Oh, it's in my storage. I can't get to my storage while I'm in... Okay. You're ready for bed already? Oh, let's go blow it up. What the... F Why are you sleeping again? Man, you got lazy. Blow it up. <clears throat> Aw, we should get some soda if you want, or, yeah. What do we got in here? Oh, wait, is this metal? We don't need to get $500. Well, we still need $500, but we don't need a thousand. Oh, God. Thousand dollars. Holy crap. That was it, huh? Okay. That works, though. We don't need to get the uh, 500 for that metal. What the? What is this? Oh, research part. Nice. Okay. Well, that was the goldfish. I can't catch anything. Damn it. <laughs> Why am I so bad at these mini games all of a sudden? <laughs> Whoa. All right, so we got a part. Bam. Research complete. Twin prop engine now available in stores. Store near you. Um, ooh, those are pricey fish. Okay, and then we can go to shipyard. 
What's this new engine? It does 36 knots. Okay, so these do 15 knots. 15.8. So that would be, what, 32 knots? And this does 36. But it's $450. So that one engine does more. They make your eyes hurt. Yeah, they're a little they're a little weird. Okay, so maybe we do need a thousand dollars, because I kinda want to get that. Um There we go. So we just need one more bolt of cloth and we can have our hull can sustain one additional impact and a tier two hole adds five new cargo spaces. That would be Nice. Okay, so we need a bolt of cloth. A borbial pup? What is a borbial pup? <laughs> I guess? I don't know. No? <laughs> what is a borbial pup? Oh, jeez. Now I need to find some bolts of cloth. Oh. <laughs> it's a mastiff. See, that's metal. I need cloth. There were a bunch of wrecks out here. I'm wondering ooh, if any of them are cloth. Is this cloth? No, but it is small, hopefully. Yes. Small little ring. Okay. Oh, right there. Cloth. Perfect. <clears throat> I like how it shows you what it is. Only, only 150 pounds. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's all of that. Um, we can't fit any metal. Those are gone because it's nighttime. What is this? What are you? Makeshift dock, a campsite. You stand in the center of a campsite. The fire embers are cool, but ash is still steadily blowing out with the wind. Take a closer look. A large black rock sits atop the charred wood of the campfire. A handful of tiny fish bones can be seen poking out of the ashes. Kick the ashes. You kick the ashes, your foot hits something hard, and the bottom of the pile. Ooh, research part. Thank you. Uh, look for footprints. You find no footprints, but unfamiliar symbols have been sketched into the dust nearby. Some have been erased with a hasty sweep of a foot. What do you want to do? Check the makeshift tent. The tent is a sheet of cloth suspended over with some sticks. There's nothing inside save for a smothered hollow in the dirt where someone slept. Now well, let's leave. Okay. We got a research part. Whoa, look at those engines. Twin jet <laughs> drive engine. Yes. <laughs> 52 knots? That one doesn't... We don't know. Okay. Jet drive engine. 
We can, like, totally deck our boat out. Okay. Um, volcano, mangrove. Can I get one of these yet, please? No, okay. Let's do volcanic. Alright, let's get back over there before... <clears throat> ah, no worries. I hope you feel better, man. Oh, God. That's not a good place to be. Oh, it's a giant fish. She's back. I just blew my engine up. I don't know exactly where I'm going. I need to go somewhere. <laughs> okay, I'm going the right direction. Yeah, I feel better, man. I had that issue sometimes, too. I get get it. Uh, hello. Bye. There go our engines. What the? That's a new one. Okay. Um, repair my engines, please. Sell my fish. New haul, please. Oh no, I don't have, I have, I need $500 still. Oh, I always need $500. <laughs> Oh no, your phone's at 8%? Well, we're gonna throw this in here. Okay, we're gonna get some sleep. Then we're gonna go fishing. That's it, huh? Okay. We must catch all the fish. Gelatinous stonefish. Flesh and scales intent on sh shuffling away from the creature struggling to maintain its mortal form. Oh, there's a gold one! Yes! Oh, fuck me! What the hell, my dude? Where the hell did he come from? And how do we get rid of him? Just blew up our engine again. Holy crap. <laughs> Aww. Yeah, it's she had a busy day. It's only 557. Wow. Oh, that sucks, man. I hope you uh, yeah, figure something out. We lost the fish again. Okay, I'm thinking we go for the ocean fish. I think we're gonna get more money for them. I think we installed that. Yeah. Go out here and see if we can't catch a big fish. I need to go still fish. Damn it! 
Are these all coastal fish too? Probably. What's over here? That's a bizzle, okay. To help if I go the right direction. I just noticed too, I have Okay, just the encyclopedia wait. Okay, I've already read all the books. If I turn my light off, maybe it won't see me. That, that works! The light, it it's attracted to the light. Holy crap. We figured something out. It's attracted to the light. Okay, we're gonna... We're just gonna sleep until dawn. There we go. We need to go find some ocean fish. Probably be a good time to get this guy out. Okay, that's coastal. There's an oceanic out there. That's what we need. We need the big fish. We need the ocean fish. Need our money. Nice. A sturgeon, okay. A translucent sturgeon. The simple clockwork mechanisms of life laid bare as tenuous skeletal existence. Nice. <laughs> um, that's a coastal mackerel. Ah, there's another. Okay. Do the ocean fish. This little tiny island. Big old shark, can he fit? I, yes. I don't think we're gonna be able to fit another one though. Okay. All right, this should get us a pretty good chunk of change though, I think, I hope. Uh, we got, what, Encyclopedia, Translucent Sturgeon. Whoa! Things just pop up when I'm not paying attention. Just like, hey! Oh, oh. We need like 30 some, 33 dollars. Okay. Oh no, I need, I want this. Storage, please. Let's sleep again. My neighbor's out putting his dirt bike on his car, or his truck. It's probably like, what the hell is going on in there? We need like $38. Oh, really? It disappeared right as I got to it.
Oceanic perch. That's a tiny ass fish. Huh. Little fish. I didn't think that through. <laughs> there we go. I'm like, wait, a fish doesn't fit. I don't like that giant fish. He's not cool. Oh, bearded mackerel. Hey, look, it's a bearded mackerel. The wispy tendrils sprouting from its mouth and flanks continue to writhe along after the fish has stopped flailing. Nice. Alright, this should give us enough, though, so we can get a hull upgrade. Hell yeah. Okay. Oh, wait, I didn't... Okay. I've got a surprise for you, a gift. It's from my most loyal customer. Here, you want to have this? Oh, she gave me a book. Thank you. Hmm. Damn. Okay. New haul. Yes! Improved. We got the achievement improved. Okay, what do you need? We got a nice collection of stuff here that we can start throwing in. Oh, look at that. We can even get this. Three cargo spaces to hold extra rods. Yeah, bigger rods. What is this, lights? Um, I guess we don't have anything, do we? Huh. Oh no, it just adds four cargo spaces. Nice! Well crap, we should have done that one instead. Oh well. <clears throat> there we go. Um, look at that. Our light is now sideways. <laughs> Might take this out, put this one back in. Look at that. Might put you in. Okay. Then we can sell that. There we go. Yeah, we got more space. So let's go back to the other town, I think, and sell these. We'll go ahead and sleep. We'll try out our new, uh, this thing. Dimensional bypass achievement unlocked. That was freaking cool. Nice, okay. Of course, the first fish we catch is a fanged cod. And a three headed cod. Okay, then. Let's 
nice little uh, space upgrade there. Damn, to the trader. $32. Wait, I can't hit these anyway. Never mind. Maybe these ones? No. And of course my battery's dead. Uh, I can get these though. Nice, mini-eyed mackerel. We're just catching all kinds of uh, weird creatures now. <laughs> oh, the lighthouse keeper is waiting for you on the dock, looking displeased. I saw you sailing out towards the horizon, crossing that deep expanse. Do you really think that's wise? What's the problem? It feels a bit like tempting fate, does it not? Things are bad enough around here without your provocations. Abruptly, she walks away. Her eyes scan the water as she walks along the dock. 300 bucks, holy crap. Well, what's I gonna do? I forget what I was doing. That caught me off guard. I was like, oh, 300 bucks. <laughs> oh, you know what we can do? Where is that? I forget where that was. There's that thing that's like closed off. Um, I, I think it's over at Steel Point, right? No, maybe not. Let's go sleep before we go over there. I did just unlock a new deep sea monster. <laughs> game is this game's fun i'm liking this just getting more crazy and we've only done like two of the five areas we still haven't gotten the abyssal um wait of course i'm going the wrong direction it's this way What is this? A one strong wooden hole lays broken against the shoreline. Try and get inside the stern. There we go. Some scrap, a research part, some pearl earrings, and a bolt of cloth. That's awesome. Okay. Wasn't there a thing I could, like, blow up in here? SOS. Oh. I'm saved! Saved! Oh, you're a sight for these sore eyes. <laughs> you look terrible. What do you happen? I bet I do. I certainly felt better. I've been chewing on seaweed and starfish for longer than I'd like. I washed up here. Oh, it must have been some two weeks ago now. You were, we were in rough seas, and then a wave hit us and broadsided us, and I was jostled overboard and swept away. I thought my crew wouldn't have come to find me by now, but yours is the first ship I've seen pass by here. Did the boys send you looking for me? Mm. No. <laughs> oh, well, I'm sure they're out there looking anyways. Can you get me to Little Morrow, stranger? Sure. Um, jump in. We got a castaway. <laughs> All right, hold on. We're going to go do some stuff, though, first. Like, get this wood. Oh, that was it? Really? Am 
We have enough room for a shark? No, we don't. Dang it. I wasn't that far. He could have swam. I think we can fit some of these, though. Yep. <laughs> kind of funny, just like, wah, wah. Oh, wait, this is Greater Morrow. I gotta take him to Little Morrow. Well, you can wait here for a second. Um, actually, no. I want to throw those in the dry dock. <clears throat> ah, no worries. There we go. Uh, we want this one. Now we can get the volcanic shallow heat resistant rod. That's kind of cool. So where the heck is Little Morrow at? Oh, it's the one across... Okay. We gotta go there anyway to sell these earrings. So that works. I just realized, too, we need to check our crab pot. The sweet, rank smell of civilization. I thought I could never miss it. He turns to you. For someone who has just been saved, he seems gloomy. Mm. I've not got much on me, as you can imagine. And I've <laughs> and I have a feeling this isn't worth much anymore, for me at least. But perhaps it'll be worth something for you. He removes a signet ring from his left hand and presses it into yours. A ship's wheel sigil is emblazed proudly on his ring. Such a symbol is sure to bring good luck to any captain that holds it. On to better horizons, friend. Farewell. Well, it didn't really... I mean, it's $90. It didn't really help him. <laughs> I mean, it, he crashed and got shipwrecked, so... You know, it didn't really, uh, really help him. Okay. Well, we're gonna sleep, and then we're gonna go try and... I cannot remember where I saw that. Maybe it's on the other side of this island? No, I feel like it was somewhere around here. Maybe it's on this island. Catch a shark. Yes, the shark. Can hold multiple sharks. Ooh, a barbed eel. Spines broken with sharp angles and crooked curves, a row of teeth bent on revenge. Uh, I can't really catch any more after that, though. See, okay, we found that one before.
Oh, none of the, these aren't gonna fit anyway. Dang it! It must be on that island over there. Let's go take a look again. <laughs> okay, we're making, we're getting money, right? That's all that matters. We're getting money. Let's look on the map here. We can either... Yeah. I think it was around Steel Point. Let me go look. Might as well dredge while we're out here. Liking the extra hull space though, it's actually making it really, really nice. Um, now nah, I won't be able to fit anymore. Okay. <clears throat> Maybe it wasn't in here. What is that? I don't know what that is. I kind of want to go to it, but it's 1600. Almost 1700. Now, I guess we don't need to go there yet. She's dr downing the mac and cheese. Oh, that's good. Hungry. Um, I mean, here we'll leave it. Might as well. In fact, I think there's some boards right over there. So let's go. We'll go grab those really quick. Whoa! Damn it! Damn it! Lady, you owe me. You owe me big time. You damaged my boat. I think we only need two. Oh god, it is dark. Go so, oh, there goes my frames, too. 
Sorry about that. Um... Alright, we'll go let the builder know now. What is that noise? Gotta go fix our boat anyways. Dang it. Ah, <laughs> oh, no. I need the gold one. Damn it. <laughs> I suck at these mini games. Oh my god, I, yeah. Good thing we have a bunch of money. <sighs> Sell all that, fix our boat. Uh. Yeah, I hear ya, I hear ya. Do you have anything? I mean, we can buy the volcanic line. How much is it? 330? Or the bigger motor. We could actually do that now. Um, here. So let's sell these. Buy you. Bam! We're even faster now. Oh. What is that, 2,100 lumens? Hell yes. Our boat's getting freaking decked out now. Okay. You've done it. Well, no sense in wasting time. Let's get moving. Uh, are you sure you want to go now? Okay. Good riddance to you, Greater Morrow. I'm on word bound. I'm going to throw this in my storage really quick. Well, actually... No, let's just throw it in the... Uh, I think we can stick it in the drive dock. Right? What do you need? Yeah. Ah, oh, if I would have had... One more. And that's it. Okay. Well, these I can throw in my storage then. And you can go right there. You can go right there. You man that fishing rod. Are you sure you want to go at 1800? Yes, she does. Well, let's let's rock and roll. I don't know if this lady knows what she's uh wanting, but here we go. Gonna stop and catch some eels. Here, you can uh, sit next to the host eel. Numerous glowing shapes flicker and squirm behind the distended ribcage. The rest of the fish is withered and drained. There you go, lady. This is what you gotta deal with out here. Just throwing you into the deep end. Ooh, and a barbed eel. Okay, we'll throw that one right above you. Perfect. Okay. Actually, I can throw you there. Oh! Catch one more. Oh, it's a gold one, too! No! I missed the gold one again! Dang it. Whatever. Oh, and there's a fish. Um, let's just get ready to bolt. Okay, go! Holy shit! That's not cool, my dude. That's not cool. Oh, God. That was terrifying. 
Yes, yes, that'll this'll do. Thank you, fella. You weren't scared at all on that trip over here. <laughs> Give me a short while to get things built here. You're welcome back anytime. He reaches for a toolbox and pulls out a handful <laughs> of components. Take these. Thank you. I lost a, an eel, so that actually helps a lot. Um. Oh, I have to do these two first? Okay. Oh, do I want to go engines or do I want to go mangrove? Like, that one does all of it. Coastal, shallow, mangrove, and volcanic. The engine. And I think I need this one before I can get that one. Oh, let's go for the engines. Yeah. And we're gonna sleep. Okay. Oh, we have space, I guess. Our boat is a lot quicker, though. That's kind of nice. Can I fit a shark? Hmm. Not really. Let's see, I could put that. Nope, he won't fit there. But you... Doesn't help because I... Yeah. <laughs> I could put three... No. Oh, I could fit it if I, my hole wasn't broken. Dang. Oh, well, I'm going to do that. Our boat is quick now, though, with that engine. Like, this is almost as fast as it was going when we were doing the special thing, so... That's kind of awesome. And there go my frames. Damn it, frames! Um, and sell you. There we go. Repair my boat. Okay, now what do we need to do? What did we need exactly? We need wood. Okay. Wood and metal. Let's go try and find some wood and metal really quick. I don't quite remember where that spot was that we could blow up. Maybe it's on that island? No, that's that island. Okay. Oh, we might as well fish while we're out here. Yeah, getting those three-headed cod. Okay. Hmm. 
So was it in that little alcove right there? It might be. I might be just like going around everywhere and it's like literally right next to me. That'd be funny. Probably be my luck also. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, fishmonger. Go ahead and get some sleep. Yeah, because there, there are things now. I just can't remember where that is. Maybe it is in here. No? No, it's not. Maybe it's over there. <laughs> We're just going. We're going places, seeing things. You're still here? Okay, good. <laughs> I hope you're feeling better. Take some, uh, a leave. That helps me usually. Whoa, there's a boat. Pull up alongside a boat at anchor. There's, are there are signs of life on board, but nobody appears to greet you. Call out. Almost immediately, a small slot in the door snaps open. A pair of frantic eyes peer out at you. <laughs> Who goes there? A monster? A fisher? A monster. Very funny. What do you want? I was just checking to see if you're okay. Do I seem okay? No. I'm very much not okay. I'm supposed to be delivering this package to Little Morrow, but I'm being stuck. A huge leviathan lurks in these deep waters, and I've seen it. It hung in the water, its gaping mouth just below the boat. It would have swallowed this vessel whole if I hadn't bolted for the shallows. I'm not going any further into this accursed island chain. I can deliver it for you. Would you? A large pre... Okay. Courier pushes the lump, lumpy brown package through the door. It squelches slightly as you take it <laughs> in your hands. Dark fluid oozes from one corner. Thank you, stranger. This is bound for dock worker at the Little Morrow. I'm not sure what's inside, but listen. I know this sounds crazy. Sometimes I think I can hear the faintest whispers coming from it. I'm not supposed to be transporting live goods. I don't have the equipment for it. So just be careful with this thing, whatever it is. Here, why don't you take this too? Uh, an item emerges from the door hole. At this time, a book. He pushes through with a thud and the deck below, you pick it up. I'll be on my way, whatever the coast is clear. Safe travels. So we got a new book. Ah, uh, I'm sorry, man. I hope you feel better. We'll be going for a little bit longer. I'll run that. Get this stuff. Yeah, I'd say a leave helps me, but I don't know. See, the package, it's dense, damn, and very sticky. The heck is that guy doing? Broken monocle. I've just noticed too our boat looks nicer. What do you think? Oh, there go my frames. I was gonna say, what do you think would happen if we just ram into him? Took some bear. Okay. He should took something. Yeah. Another monocle. Anything on this side? Oh, look at that island. That's like a giant snake or tree or something. Ah. 
I hope you feel better. That shit sucks. I, I've been there. Got our shark. Fish. It's all the cod talk. <laughs> the cod talk got ya. Ah, uh, see, I had I my wisdom teeth were taken out. I had six of them. I'm extra wise. I had six wisdom teeth. I had to have them surgically removed because they were all going the wrong direction. It was not fun. Oh, I need to get back to that other... Dang it. That's eh, only 1900. We can make it. Ah, uh, yeah, that sucks. Go, 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 go! We are extra fast with that, though. Hey, I got a, a package for you hmm. here. Oh, it's a big one. Let me see. He takes a large package and examines it gently with his hands. He lifts it to one ear and listens for a while. He seems satisfied. Much appreciated, friend. Now, if you excuse me, wish me luck. He turns and hurries off down the dock without another word. To you or compensation. Thanks, buddy. Last package I bring you. <laughs> yeah. I'm so old, evolution didn't remove the extra ones. <laughs> I'm just that wise. Okay, so we went there. That was that island. I feel like we're missing it. I don't know where... Maybe it's over here somewhere that I'm just not going all the way. Let's check. Our boat's quicker now. We can do it. And we'll stop and get some fish. Always got to be doing something to get that money. I missed the gold one again. Dang it. Okay. <laughs> That's raining. Okay. Well, there's something. What is this? It's more of that stone that hums. Well, that was perfect timing. I touched it and the lightning struck. Hmm. Maybe it's around the back? No. Okay. This builder lady. We're over here. 
Damn it, frames! Hey, thanks again for helping me move out here. I've managed to get myself set up now. I found this while I was unpacking. You should take it. She hands you a book. Uh, if you ever use need to use the dock or store stuff here, be my guest. Okay, she gave me another book. Getting over it with mind and body or the engineer's companion. I'm going to read the engineer's companion. It might have died. She might be getting Kenny ready for bed too. Whoa! That's new. Lightning. As my frames drop. <laughs> she might be getting Ken Ken ready for bed too. Or dinner. I don't know. Ah, uh, we can catch one. Nice. Nice, it's a mutated one, too. Yeah, I don't know. We'll have to, we'll see. She, she might be back here in a little bit. Sell all these fish. Um, Hmm. I could buy one of these nets and try one of them out. Let's do it. We can passively catch fish when the net is deployed. Okay. Oh, and all we need is wood. Dang it. Wood and metal. I can't find any. Eh, I've been going for about an hour, or four hours and 20 minutes. <laughs> a wrangle needs to be stronger. Yeah. Or aura gel. Yeah, I, I agree. You kind of, like, need it. Like, all, all of it. Uh, but we're going to... We're going to save it here. This is a good, good saving spot. We got... Gale Cliffs and the Morrows. So then we got Twisted Strand, Devil's Spine, and Stellar Basin left. We still got a bunch more to go on this game. This game's pretty fun, though. I'm liking it. I hope you guys are liking it. If you are, let me know down in the comments if you're watching this in the future or on the Discord. Um, but for now, I'm going to end the stream. Whoa. We gotta get the creepy music on. Come on. Here we go. Yeah, it is a pretty fun game. <laughs> I'm glad you're enjoying it. Yeah, I think we might play it next stream. I don't know. Probably. We'll probably play it next stream. But yeah, later. I hope you feel better, man. I hope it... Yeah. Oh, here, look, I'm, I need to, <laughs> my, my brain's not working now. <laughs> I've been streaming too long. No, not really. Um, but yeah, thank you everybody for watching. Um, please hit like, subscribe, share, all that fun stuff. Um, you'll be back in Discord when you feel better. All right, no worries. Like I said, man, take care of yourself. And everybody else out there, you have a good uh, evening, a good rest of your weekend, Sunday night. Have a good rest of your week. Um... Be sure to tune in on Tuesday. Uh, Mamad's going to be playing, I think, Urge. Either Urge or some not. Yeah, Urge. I think. I don't know. <laughs> and then Wednesday, I'll be playing more of this game. Um, we'll be playing more Dredge. And then Thursday, Mamad's playing some Nautica. So we'll just add the Ocean Phoenix. And then next Sunday, I don't know. Next Sunday, I might go on a ghost hunt. We'll see. Um, if not, we'll play more Dredge or something else. Uh, whatever you guys want. I mean... I'm having fun doing just kind of whatever. I like this game. And, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Oh, and also, in the next week, I'm going to try and make a video 
explaining all of my ghost equipment. Like, I just got this uh, laser grid thing and a bunch of other stuff, and I'm going to make a video kind of explaining what it does and the theory behind it and show it off. So expect that hopefully soon. Um, that's thanks to SenseTube. He gave me the idea, and I was like, yeah, that's a good idea. Then people know what I'm doing when I'm on ghost hunts. <laughs> um, but yeah, other than that, you guys have a good weekend. I hope you feel better, Harold. Or, uh, all hail Harold. And I hope uh, everybody else out there is doing good. Um, if you made it this far. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> but uh, until next time, keep a hold of your turtle head. And peace.